Thank you for picking up the sticks. This is episode 74 of Sticks Gaming Podcast. I am Mike Kernett. To my right, Mike State Carney. What's going on? To my left, Art Friday is his second favorite F word, Rosian. It's true. What's your favorite F word? Fuck. <laughs> Glad you're here, everyone. Does that disappoint? Nah, no. <laughs> no, you see, you see it coming, but you had that moment where, like, maybe he's gonna pick something maybe else. Maybe something else. Yeah. Nope, no, he hits it. He hits no. it. Fuchsia. Hits your <laughs> fusion. Fun. <laughs> so, fun badge. <laughs> um, we got a. I don't. One of my own personal favorites, and what we're gonna do every time we can't think of a topic going forward, <laughs> which is we're bringing back the video game. Would you rather? Um, I have five. Excellent. I have three. That's which is more than I had the last time. We'll take whatever. Just take have one. Oh yeah, I probably should have thought of some. Question <laughs> wrong with this guy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> You'll find out in a second what that was taking over my world. I'm glad I have five. Great. <laughs> oh my god. No, it's okay. I'll look over it's totally fine. While you guys are talking off the and look up some. It's totally fine. Um but I said it's like normal rigmarole. So, Steak, what's your plan? What, 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 what do we think? What do we think? That cat's dying. <laughs> when That's you get, fine. When did you guys get a pig? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are the, what are the, what are the uh, he's teacup pigs. Teacup pigs. Yeah, teacup is, yeah, he's fine. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3, Kingdom Hearts 3, Kingdom Hearts 3. Nothing else. That's dial it. Dylon, Dylon, and Dylon. <laughs> um, I am in the final stretch. I just, I, just before we started recording, I hit the 29 hour mark. Um, it's so good. It's fantastic. So, uh, what so, worlds have you seen so far? Everything. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I just finished the last Disney World earlier today. Um, so, um, my least favorite was Frozen. Mm-hmm. Uh, that world was just super annoying. It was too, uh, too real for you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Um, it was just it just <clears throat> went on for so long and it was boring and of course they had to have the songs in there well, like, out of all the of songs. them that, that's the songs they have they have to have the songs I know um, the songs more well known in the movie yeah but so that was whatever um, the Toy Story world was amazing mm. absolutely incredible um, the Monsters Inc. world was awesome uh, the Tangled world was okay, okay. that was kind of interesting um, the Pirates of the Caribbean world looked incredible like stunning like it looked so realistic it looked so good and that world i spent three hours in and could have spent way more because there are so many islands you can you basically after a certain point you get a ship okay and you're just you can just go around the sea and you have and you have ship battles that pop up and there's a whole bunch of different islands and you can get off those islands there's a whole bunch of stuff to collect and so how long are you in each one of those like Worlds. Uh, usually somewhere between, I'd say the average is like two, two and a half hours. Oh, really? I think it'd be longer than that. Yeah. No, I, well. So what are you doing in between worlds then? In between worlds is usually, it's a ton of story. A okay. ton of story and the gummy, sh- in the gummy ship missions. A ton so, of story nobody understands. Yeah. Not true. <laughs> <laughs> if you've played them all, you, you under you get what's going on. Um, and it's, it's, so these gummy missions are like, basically it's like, so you, when you're going from world to world, it's like a space, like a free roam space thing. Okay. Cause before it used to be like an on rail space thing. Now it's kind of a free roam. Okay. And then, so there's different, so you have space battles, there's like treasure puzzles that you can, uh, that you can go take care of. So it's a little bit more like, I never liked the gummy missions from the previous games, but this one's actually a lot of fun. Nice. It's actually really cool. Um, and but yeah, the Pirates of the Caribbean one, though. Oh my god, I could have spent so much time in. And then the last one was the Big Hero Six World. That's what I'm most interested in. It was cool. It's yeah. very cool. It's huge. Like really? like the it, it's a giant city. So for that one, so and that's just insane. So I only collected like three treasures throughout the whole thing because it's so big. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, so now now that I'm like in the final stretch area. Um, I, I did look up to see what I had to do in order to unlock the secret movie because the secret movie is always a really big deal mm-hmm. with these games. And it's actually not too difficult. All you have to do is you have to take a picture of all the lucky emblems. And there's like, it's like little Mickey symbols, like yeah. all like, scattered throughout all these different worlds and everything. There's like 90 of them total. Jeez. So, but as you, as you play up on harder difficulties, you have to get less of them to unlock that. So like if you play on beginner, you have to get all 90 to unlock the secret movie. Okay. If you play on normal, you have to you can you can get less. They they don't know the exact amount yet. So I mean, obviously just for trophy purposes anyways, I'm going to I'm going to go get them all just to make make sure. But then and then if you play on proud mode, you need even less to, uh, to unlock the okay. secret movie and all that. Wait, what so, was that mode called? Huh? Proud mode. 
Okay. Prod mode's like their hard mode. But well, now I think there's an insane, insane mode where it's like even harder difficulty after you beat. So you can go from you go from proud to insane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, play, um, I'm playing a game too that is has two difficulties that are both just completely bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Though. I gotta look them up. I just remind you just reminded me. Um. So. But yeah. So um. So I'm, so right now I'm in the process of going through each world and recollecting all of the treasures. And like any of the treasures I missed, and all the lucky some lucky mm. envelopes, because I could beat the game and then go back in and do all this again. But then to unlock the secret movie, I'd have to go beat the final boss again, oh, go yeah. through the credits, and then the secret movie would unlock. That's usually like I don't get, I don't know if that's for sure how this one. That's usually how it worked in previous Kingdom Hearts games. So I was like, well, I don't want to do that. Right. <laughs> I like I don't mind do going like doing other stuff extra, but this is like, well, let me at least get these now, and I can worry about that other stuff after yeah, credits. Right. Um, so, so right now, so I just completed, uh, uh, Olympus. So I got Olympus and Twilight Town all completely filled, like done treasures and symbols. So I gotta go to, go on to the next one, Toy Story World and go from there. Um, so, but yeah, it's just, it's so good. It's so good. I'm, I lo- I'm loving it. Um, I can't wait to see where the story's going. It just, I just hit a huge, huge th- moment and it was up. Op- awesome like it went almost a whole hour without a save point it was like, it was like, and it was like almost all story like it was like so much was going on it was so cool it's, worth, it's worth awesome. waiting 10 years for oh absolutely hands down yeah for sure i'm happy as actually. i'm happy as good <laughs> like honestly god like you know, i always make that joke of like i'm hoping and you for your sake i hope it's good oh, yeah. i'm I leg- legitimately happy that that you're oh, enjoying this, oh, this journey yeah absolutely i mean they i mean they would have had to really screw it up honestly for like not to enjoy it yeah right I uh um but but if, if you didn't enjoy it i'd feel bad for you i'd still make jokes at your expense yeah. but i feel bad for you well there's two types there's two types of people there's people who like kingdom hearts and people who make fun of kingdom hearts there's no like middle ground no middle ground at all that sounds about right. Yeah, <laughs> that, that definitely sounds about right. So, but no, but it's great. And like I said, there's been and and like it is one of those games where like if you play if you didn't play the all like the extra games you only played like one and two, you'll under, you'll kind of get what's going on, you know. And there's some and like it does do some like background like uh, flashback stuff yeah. and things like that. Um, but there's also like s- certain moments that happen where it's like, oh, if you didn't play a previous game, you'd have no idea what that was because that was actually really awesome. Mm. Like for you, what, like playing a game, you're just like, okay, whatever. Like it, you're going on, cool, that's cool. But if you played a, if you played one of the previous huh, games, you're that like, was really out of place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, is, is is like out of place or is it just like no, you have a better understanding of, of it? You just have a total understanding okay. for it, and, and and then also you'd be like, oh wait, that was from Dream Drop Distance. Uh, that was awesome. Like that, it's like oh, that was such a cool part. Now like before you'd be like, okay, this is it makes sense. Like what's going with the story okay right. cool but it's like oh wait i know why where that's from and i know why that's happening kind of thing more so like you get a better feel for it gotcha so i definitely recommend going through the other ones but still like this one and like i said this one does have that thing at the beginning in the menu where you can it's got five chapters five chapters that walk you through all the all the games and everything like it's supposed to i heard it gives you a pretty decent summary obviously you're not gonna get everything but right it gives you a good idea you mean i'm not gonna get like 200 hours of gameplay <laughs> yeah right exactly yeah so i guess but no I love it. Nice. So that's literally it. That's all you've been playing? That's it. That is it. I was trying so hard to finish it before recording, but the last yeah, right. couple nights I just was not able to get on. So, it, um, but I'm at least glad I'm at, I'm at the part now where I'm finishing up the worlds and then going into the ending I, or the final area. Nice, dude. So. All right. What you playing? Uh, not a ton. Uh, played some more Rainbow Six, as usual. I'm, my shock face has been <laughs> Per the huge. I mean, hey, <laughs> I, I, I put in, I, I have a pace of 270 hours from last year to beat, okay? It's like your daily vitamin. Christ. <laughs> um, fired up my Xbox just to kill a little bit of time on Wednesday, I think it was, and so I had uh, Saints Row 3, or Saints Row the 3rd installed, mm-hmm. so I started playing that again. That game, I, I think, I love that game because it's just, just over the top. It doesn't, it's yeah. not trying to be anything serious, it's... Completely stupid, and uh, I don't like the fact that the the one luchador is voiced by Hulk Hogan. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't guy. know that. <laughs> yeah, so luchador has a Hispanic name, voiced by Hulk Hogan. Well, you know, he's a talented actor; he can pull that off. Yeah, he come on, he played uh, Santa with muscles, and don't forget Thunderlips. Thunderlips. <laughs> um, and then I played very, very briefly. Um, Apex Legends. Oh, me too. Very, very briefly. Also, very, very briefly. I played. <laughs> I went through the tutorial and played like one match. I went through the tutorial and played three matches. Ooh. And then I had server problems. Ooh. And that was yesterday. Ooh. So, so what's your like? My, what, mine was uh, your five minutes before I left. What's your extraordinarily hot take? My extraordinarily hot Legends? take is it, it's another battle royale game. 
I agree. I but I do like there's some like you know the new fun buzzword to give to games is like quality of life improvements over other ones. And I'm definitely feeling that, but I'm still dis- I'm so on the surface of it. Like I haven't learned the systems yet. But I think I do like is. Like when you're jumping, you know, when you're jumping into the map, you have like a jump leader and like not like everyone is like trying to like jump out and get to one spot. Like they have one guy can basically controlling all three people down at the same time, which is nice. But you can still break off if you're like your team leader is, you know, sending you into certain doom. You can veer off and do something. Plumbing into a volcano. But the um, (laughs) but it's the the only have squads of three. You can't go solo right now as it stands right now. And it's, but they have like the, the the Apex Legends. The Legends are the actual like characters in the game, and it's very Overwatchy. Mm-hmm. Like where they have their own abilities, and they have like a super and things like that. And it kind of changes up the maps and changes up the each each game. Um, but like again, f- straight up to the surface, the two things I liked most about it. The very first time I played, I again I was playing the randos because I don't mm-hmm. know because I mean, you have to like unless you I know we didn't we haven't organized anything yet. Yeah. We should mm-hmm. organize something. Let me know. Uh, this weekend's kind of busy. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, um, but that was I gonna say. Oh, yeah. The very first time I was playing, we got to like we were one of like three teams left, and when you get down to a certain a certain amount of teams left, I think instead of telling you how many players are left, you just put a question mark up there, so you have no idea how many people are left. And kind of it was really kind of cool to see like we might be facing one guy from each team or three full squad or two full squads. Uh, yeah, I was say it doesn't show players, but it'll show how many squads are left. Right. So you know, I have so you have you have a rough idea of what's yeah. left. Um, so that and then like just like they had a pinging system yes. where I can see someone in the distance and be like bad guy that way and and I think that is just that was the one th- I kept saying that when I was playing Blackout it was just I wish I could mark bad guys and it doesn't like stick on them like it does in ba- in Battlefield where you st- you, if you like mark a guy in Battlefield like it'll, the track will stay on him but I saw a bad guy in that direction and like there's a little marker that shows mm-hmm. up on the HUD on the HUD is awesome um, I feel like it gives me a ton of information uh, automatically without me, me requesting it or you sending it. Like if you are taking fire, like your character taking fire, an automated message will come up saying like, I'm taking fire. And then I can see like by your, your gamer tag on my screen uh-huh. that when you're like, I can take a muzzle flash, like when you're shooting. So mm-hmm. I know when you're being engaged, even if I'm not over there, you know, so I can run, I can run over and help or aid or pick up or whatever it is. Uh, the game has like fatalities in it. So like when you get down a guy, you can go up there and have like an animation where you kill somebody, which is really cool. Nice. But you're completely vulnerable when you do it. Sure. So you better be clear, free and clear <laughs> when you do it. Um, I, I got fatality. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I I have seen one happen. One of my teammates did somebody else. I was like, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> oh, that could happen to me. Um, but it's like a. It's almost kind of like a, a running man situation where it's like almost like a game show with this. And like these these mm. these legends are like celebrities. And when you go into a match, tell you what is the MVP, not the MVP, or what do they call it? The champion. The champion. So when you go into a match, whoever had the best round in the previous round, um, they're considered the champion. You get more points for killing them. So they like marked men. Okay. And then they also tell you like kills leaders. Like we have a new kills leader, and then if you kill them, they get you, they, you get more points. Hmm. Um, you get a lot, you get XP for how long you stay alive too, which is something you don't get in Blackout, which is another pet peeve of mine for that game. <laughs> so there's because you could pour uh, twenty five minutes into a match and get nothing. Exactly. <laughs> like you get even for like damage, like damage, um, hmm. damage, you know, given out and things like that. There's points for all, everything. Free to play, which is awesome. It's in, from the guys who did Titanfall, and it feels just like Titanfall minus the mechs and the double minus jumping. Minus the Titans and the fall, <laughs> the, ju- the double jumping and the um wall the running. wall running. But it has like the, those crazy slide. I guess like slide across the entirety of your house in Titanfall. If, <laughs> yeah, if you find a hill, you could slide down the hill and yeah. build up more speed. Nice. Yeah, so I mean, it has some really cool locomotion pieces too, and it feels great. Coming I mean, from Respawn, who you know, yeah. Titanfall is a really good game. Um, so it's was, been a while since we had a cat on that. It's a surprise side. release, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like, no one knew this was coming. Uh, they right? had a couple of leaks, like a couple of days beforehand, and they had like a press event the week prior to show people. Yeah. Then they had a couple of leaks, and it got just like, all right, it's out. Here it is. <laughs> Hi, it's been a while since you've been on the podcast. We've <laughs> been in the garage. Yeah. He's like, hey, I didn't um, this. <laughs> but, hey, you, know, dude, you, can't, you can't shut the cat on, t- on, on live TV. Nope. If the, if the camera's on, I would have punched it by now. That's how, that, yeah. that's how, that's how I got that face. Yeah, yeah. That. I'm, 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 hey, you just have a normal shape face. <laughs> anyway. But, um, yeah, but, I mean, I'm really digging it. Like, yes, I put, you know, like I said, three or four matches into it. That was it. And I had one really good match, and I got just destroyed twice. Ugh. God, you can keep going. Don't mind me. I want to watch. What I was fine until there's a tail in my face. Yeah, what's, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Tough talk, kit. So... Yeah, I'm I'm digging digging it so far, and like I said, it's it's free to play, so what the hell? Why not? Right, that's uh, 
yeah, that was, you know, it has the uh, track record behind it of Respawn, who's done the Titanfall games and mm-hmm. came from act, from uh, Infinity Ward and did the old uh, Modern Warfare games. Right, 1 and 2, I think that's what they were. They, they were still on board with 1 and 2 before that whole thing yeah. blew up for 3. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. But like I said, it's still, still fresh. You know, what was that? Radical Heights was that other... Something like, yeah, Battle Royale game was like number was like number one on Twitch for like two days and then went away forever. So this was, has yeah, been number was, one. It was, that one was Cliffy. That was Cliffy, yeah, right? Games, wasn't it? Yeah. So like this is you know a couple days in, it's still looking pretty popular. They got like yeah. ten million players and they hit a you know a million players concurrently. Nice. So it's um yeah it's a ton of fun, but it's like there's a lot to learn. Yeah. So like well, and that's the thing like they give you the tutorial which is like the basic commands, but there's not like a tutorial for each hero like, or legend. Right. You know? right. I don't you know I. Just played a game and I picked my hero and I don't know what their special is. <laughs> uh, I picked up a gun and I got into a gunfight and uh, pulled the trigger and it's a burst fire weapon. That's the, like, that's the thing. Is that you got to learn. Like I said, once you learn like the names and how each one fire sure. fires, I think it's a much better experience overall. Cool. Having a burst fire weapon and not knowing you have a burst fire weapon is a bad situation. Also, when you have a gun that looks like <laughs> a handgun and it's being a shotgun, it's good information to have. <laughs> um, I feel like that's the opposite direction. Like, you have a gun that has much more power behind it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I was like, like, I'm going to hold the trigger down it. Ah, oh, shit. That's, that's why I got my kill. Because I, I, was, I just ran right at the guy. I was like, ah, Because he was, <laughs> yeah, oh, he was I went this way. I came this way, and I just demolished that guy. And then you can respawn, you can respawn teammates, too. Like, there's, you, if you can, you can get them up in time. But when they die, they have, like, their, their, their death box, like, all, with all the loot in it. They have their flag on the top of it. And you can take their flag to a respawn point, and they'll launch back into the game. So there's a lot, there's a lot to it, and like it's not just like put the flag on, he's there. Like you got to yeah. put the flag on, and there's like a meter to go. So again, huh. it, it takes like I think eight seconds for them, to, like the respawn right. thing to complete. Yeah, it's, it's pretty rad. I, I'm I'm digging it so far. Yeah, I, I definitely want to play more of it. I, I just kind of jumped into the one. I, I thought I'd have time to do more than one match, but I didn't know I was going to get run through a tutorial. I thought it was going to be like right. a. Throw you in and here you go type thing. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, you know, I, I, so I had the server issues. I was just like, I, you know, man, I want to play more. <laughs> but it's like, I tried three times and it was just like, it, was, it wasn't happening. Well, even tonight when I went to go play, like the first time, you know, the game loaded up and it was like, you know, connection issue. I'm like, the fuck? And I tried it again and it connected fine. Right. And speaking of server issues, when they had like the, all, the, all the Anthem stuff, Anthem server issues, again, EA is launching two. Kind of similarish big games mm. within like two weeks of each other. Like, why do they keep? Why do they keep doing this? Well, something that came out like, and so uh, this is gonna be in the news, but I'll just talk about it now. So, it, like, news. Yeah, <laughs> early news. <I> <laughs> um, <laughs> they released this, and they, you know, they talked to uh, people at Respawn, Vince Sampella. Yeah, and uh, like at some point in the interview, it came out like. They wanted to release Titanfall 2 when they released it. They pushed for that date. Really? It was not EA's call. Uh, like, they were that confident in their game that they thought they could put it out between Call of Duty and Battlefield. Well, and the response still... is stupid. Yeah, figure that out. That's uh, <laughs> hubris. You know, of, all, of all the things like EA has stepped into, right? Or, yeah. So you think yeah. they've been like, like guys, totally think, yeah, release absolutely. in February. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know, think, but also, I heard like this how they wanted to release this. Like, how they re- I did like the stealth launch of this. Well, yeah, like, right. That's how Respawn wanted to do it again. And right. It's working and, out. And they, like, they, their reasoning is sound reasoning. It's like, it's a free to play game. That kind of has loot box ish type mechanics to right. it, um, being released by a company associated with EA. Right. He's like, if we, you know, do like a, a long like lead up rollout announcement to this, it's mm-hmm. nothing but, you know, negative news can come from it, and we'd rather sure. just people play the game and form your own opinions that, that way. Makes sense. Good for them, man. It's Which working. I mean, I mean, it's a, a ballsy uh, path to take, but it uh, seems to be working out for him. And like all the reasons they listed, I'm like, yeah, I. I I get why, like, everything you said there sounds bad. You're right, right. <laughs> and, you, you know, the, the big thing is it's a, it's a hero shooter. No one gives a shit about your heroes. They're, they're not known from anything else. Um, so, there's, you know, a long lead-up to it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah. But uh, the other thing that came out in their interviews with uh, the Respawn people is they are not working on Titanfall 3. But they said they were working on some, like, they are new, some Titanfall new Titanfall projects. experimental yeah. thing. Well, I mean, this game takes place in the Titanfall universe. Right, like yeah. 200 years in the, in the future. Yeah, or something, something like that. that. But wait, yeah, they t- said later this year it's supposed to be out, too. Really? Oh, really? I didn't know that. <laughs> Who knows what the hell's going on over there? I mean, that's... I really did like Titanfall 2, but, like, I finished it and I couldn't tell you a damn thing about sure. it. So, like, I don't, I don't know if it's... I mean, it feels good if... I guess it's... it's well, the mechanics of the game are fun, and the, I guess a lot of people were really up on the story. I thought there were parts of it that I did enjoy. Yeah. 
But like, I'm not like I don't think people really invested into the Titanfall universe. No, and that's and that was what most of the reviews were like. They were like the the going through the story was awesome, yeah. but. It was great. That's it. Like it's the end of it. You yeah. know, it's kind of like you know, like the Tomb Raider games. Like, and I agree with a lot of the people. Everyone's like, you know, it's like right now. I couldn't. I honestly could not recite you the 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 rise of the Tomb Raider story. Right, I couldn't. Right. Like, it was a fantastic game when I played it. I can't. Rem- I gotta remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that it. That's it. All right, I got a few. So, shocker. I know. I could. Whatever. Jeez, get a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> so I played Night in the Woods some more on the Switch, which is that like coming of age, twenty year old coming back from college type of thing, and I have given up on it because the teen, the twenty year old is kind of becoming a shithead, and <laughs> I, they tend to do that. I hear, and I was just like, you know what. I'm not in mood for this. <laughs> so I was. You know what? I'm gonna be living this in the not too. Uh, yeah, like I'm Nothing controlling this person that's saying <laughs> stuff. I just don't. I don't like. So like, and it, I mean, like honestly, like each game, each, uh, each. It was like living the uh, life in the day of this person, and like some minor thing would happen, but it was just like, what am like I? Did, what am I doing? Like, where am I going? Like, what's the next? Like, what's happening? And I just I didn't I, I just stopped caring. So I'm I'm done with that one. Um, I played uh, Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe, whatever that new that one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> throw all those words together and got a game. I would say as you as you said in the last episode, I think you nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> um, that is, ex- if you've ever seen one of the new Super Mario Brothers games, that's exactly what it is. And it's super fun and I love it. And it's super great to have it on my Switch. Um, I mean, it's it's great. Go get it. Uh, I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's it's, a, it's 2D Mario. Yeah, I go. it's 2D Mario. Um, the game I was talking about earlier is a game, one of the, my ninth of my tenth. Oh. <clears throat> um, oh, you're trying to clear out that list before Andy yes, comes out, huh? <laughs> Nothing's really coming out. I though. know, but... So, like, yeah, I was say you're, you're going to be good then. For but my like a sale might does. come up or something. Yeah, true, so. true. Um, so, a game called Get Even. Um, so, oh, I've seen that. Yeah, it's... it's Get smart. It's not, <laughs> no, I'd be awesome. It's not... It's a little bit more than a walking sim because they do have first-person shooter elements in there. But like I said, I was... You know, I'm going, coming off of playing like Call of Duty and, and Apex Legends has, has great gunplay. And this thing is just like, whoa. Like, <laughs> the gun's going all over the place. Yeah. Like, I hit the run button, and it's like I turned into the flash. Like, <laughs> I was at the end of a hallway. So, I mean, mechanically, it, it doesn't run great. But the, the, the hook is that you are, presumably, like, you again, it's a classic video game thing where you wake up with amnesia, right? Um, you kind of, you're in, you know. It's like a classic video game. That's like a classic yeah, fictional story. Yeah, kind of thing. exactly. <laughs> so, you, you, you know, you, you kind of like, you know, you you wake up in this stupor and then you find your way through this like abandoned building. Um, you take out a few people and then you find a girl in a chair strapped to a bomb. The bomb goes off and then you kind of like the reality snaps back in that you actually have like basically what it looks like a VR unit strapped to your head and kind of like in a science experiment with other military like people and things like that Mm -hmm. in this abandoned insane asylum. But some of the insane, insane people are still there too. So you were kind of, you're basically just kind of go, going through your previous missions in that VR headset to try to learn what you did and who you are and, and how you why you even cared about that girl to begin with. Um, it's supposed to be kind of stealthy. I find it to be impossible because the controls. Um, the main mechanic in the game is you have a phone that does different things. You have like a flashlight on there that has like a, that has like a black light, so you can see like UV footsteps and stuff in the walls. You have a, a scanner for DNA, and um, they have a map, and the map shows motion on it, so you can see people where they're looking, like a la like Metal Gear Solid stuff, right? But I'm in a first person view, and I can't really tell what the hell they are. Mm. So I'm looking at the phone, I'm looking back at them, looking at the phone, looking back up at them, and that control thing is so bad. Mm. I can't really, I can't really get it yeah. going. Where this game absolutely excels is in the sound, in the sound direction, especially when you're in the insane asylum, because there's all kinds of madness happening. And they have, like, in each time, each each level, they have, like, a sound that happens where it sounds like almost like a door closing. And as you're going through the level, like this, the music kind of plays and the door just closes and kind of starts up from scratch. And the further you get into the level, like, that sound keeps getting louder and closer together and louder. And it's, like, it's just, like, it's just this frantic nature of it. And, um... It's just really good, and, and they have like the 3D audio going on in there too. Mm. So like when you're walking through the halls in Salem Island, like you're hearing this all kinds of people screaming and yelling, and this this thing's happening all over the place. Um, I don't, I mean, that part of it's fine. It's not totally hooking me just because, 
like I said, it's really hard to get over the control yeah, piece of it. Right. And like the story is just so the story. There's like no like when you when you get like launched into the like the different scenarios, like there's no direction and it's kind of open. So I feel like I'm just kind of just roaming around, walking around, and oh, I finally stumbled upon the thing I needed to find. <laughs> Um, so I'm not really totally digging that. So sure. I'm gonna give it one more. I only played it really once for like an hour and a half. I'm gonna give it one more spin and see how I feel about it. Now, one game I feel very good about is I did finish the Leon side mm. of Resident Evil Two. Um, nice. So it's kind of weird. Like I remember when I played the original Resident Evil Two on PlayStation, that it was like Claire's over here doing stuff and Leon's over here doing stuff. Right. Where in this version of it, like the por- portions of the game when they meet, that looks the same. But it's almost like all this stuff Claire did doesn't exist. Mm. So you're basically playing Leon's playthrough, but in like an abridged version with the stuff that, that is 100% one-to-one overlaps, like they throw that away. And then you start with the stuff that is that is specific just to Leon. Okay. So I'm like, but man, I had, I took the world's worst route playing this game <laughs> where I'm like, I have two handguns and I get to the point when Mr. X comes back. Oh, yes. And now I have, in the very first, when you get into the police station, the very first thing you need to do is find three emblems because, you know, right. reality. <laughs> and you got to put those three emblems in the police station. At this point, I only have one emblem. And now he's chasing me. <laughs> and I could, I look, and I'm like, and all I have is two handguns. I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> so I can't, like, run through the hallways or anything. I'm, I'm trying to, like, evade. I got to die, like, three or four times. Like, what, the, what am I doing wrong? So I actually end up looking up online because I was just so frustrated. Yeah. And like I just missed everything. I'm, I could have had all three emblems. That should have been my last emblem I got. Yeah. <laughs> um, the shotgun you can get within the first like ten minutes of playing the game. I just completely missed the key yeah. card and just walked right by it. Was it? Were you going in with like, like knowing how you had played this in the past? No, like, based I, honestly, off that or? I feel like it was so long ago. I, I since I, I I remember some of like the key points, but I don't remember like where the key cards were and stuff like right. that. I walked by the diamond key for crying out loud. Like I just walked by everything like an <laughs> idiot. Like I, I think that like, I, I don't know what I was anticipating, what I was thinking, but like, I, I'm like an hour. I was like literally like an hour. I was an hour into the game. I was like, I got to restart. Like I'm so stupid. <laughs> I didn't though. I'm like, okay. You backtracked. <laughs> well, yeah. What I did was I was like, okay, I remember where the zombies were. Like, how can I get, like, I had to do, like, a dipsy do like, around to get to everything where I needed to get to, and I persevered. I yeah. made it through. Um, and then, like, then all of a sudden, I have all the guns and all, <laughs> and all the bullets, because I didn't waste any of the bullets, because I didn't, I didn't have the gun. So I had, like, all, so I was like, oh. Like, now oh. I'm Rambo. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I'm ready to rock and roll. Um, yeah, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's just so damn good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. I'm looking forward to diving back in. Probably after Kingdom Hearts, I think I might dive back into uh, Claire. Claire, Yeah. Claire B story. Man, the Mr. X stuff, he is way more of a pest in Leon's story. Well, well, I've heard, I don't know if it's necessarily Leon's or if it's just the second playthrough. I hear the okay. second playthrough is a lot. Is supposed to be more difficult than the first Dude. playthrough. So, because like, don't be wrong. Because like, I I did play through as Leon the first time, and I thought Mr. X was around a lot and it drove me nuts. <laughs> but like, but I I don't know. But it, like I said, for what you're saying to your extent, I don't know if that's just the way it was from when I played it, or if that's uh, or if that's because it's the second playthrough. So he's just showing up more oh, and just not quitting on you as easy as in the first one. No, and and the first one you run. You, I mean, as long as you ran like like. Ran down a huge hallway and went into a room. He pretty much stopped chasing you for the most right. Part. You still hear him. You still hear him. Like he, when you he, left some of those rooms, right. he come back. But uh, but he, I mean, you could still lose him. I said by the end of that first run with him, when I had to like rerun and do everything, yeah. I had no gun. Uh, I literally did not have a bullet <laughs> when I got Jesus. to the when I when I was in the the library trying to do that puzzle. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't kill the zombies because I didn't have any bullets been there before. Yeah. So I got Mr. X chasing me. I'm dodging well, zombies. Those I'm those trying zombies to move. Are while you're trying to yeah. do that puzzle too. Yeah. So I'm, I got yeah. I got all this stuff happening. I'm trying to move this up, and yep. I finally get to it. I'm like awesome. I run down the hallway. I'm getting to the clock tower, which you was was how Mr. X went away the first time. Right. I get. To, I'm like at the door of the clock tower. Zombie. Come. I didn't even see him. <laughs> there was a pillar here. I didn't even see him. Took my neck out. And I was like, God. Oh, Dead. Awesome. So I was just like, oh my god. So I, I stuck with it. I didn't. I didn't quit on it. I didn't restart. I didn't go down the difficulty. I stuck with it. I persevered. I thought myself through it. I made it. <laughs> so um, that's awesome. Yeah. Are you getting another one? Can you refill yeah. me too? Yeah. Thank you. Um, you still, Mark? No, I'm good. 
But man, it's just it's so it's so, that game is so good. And like after I be, you know after I became Rambo, I still of course used and I was like I'm Rambo now. I can use any, all the guns and weapons I want now. Like, and <laughs> well, that, was, yeah. that was poorly that was poorly uh, decision by me. But I was just uh, again by <laughs> making by all kinds of, it, of noise. Yeah, I know it was stupid. Thank you, sir. So um, the end game is great. Um, I got a bunch of unlockables. I really like the unlockables in that game. I wish I can do. I'm gonna. I'm hope like some of the stuff, man. I looked at the trophy list. They're out of the damn minds. <laughs> They're out of the goddamn minds. Like how how am I supposed to like? They, they got like finish the game not only in, in hours but in like how many steps you can do. Like oh, it's it's ridiculous. Like I, no I was, no wasted motion. Yeah. I was I was looking through. I was kind of looking through that, and I was just like, you know what? Because like. I always try to get like I don't always you know necessarily go for the hundred percent, but I'm like oh I at least want to get like a decent like a good amount right, like right, you know, whatever, right. and it's like a good reason to play. And then I, yeah, I was looking through the list. And I'm just like I'm just gonna play the game. <laughs> no way. I'm like this isn't worth. Just, I I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna play through the game. What I get, I get. Yeah, That's not a it. chance. That's just the end of it. Yeah, but I re- man, it's 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 really great. Ooh, ooh, your favorite thing in the world. I know. I can't. Nitro, man. I know. That's how you. I know how you're supposed to, but it's just like it's like it, <laughs> it, it, it feels wrong it offends, watching it. It offends all my decencies. Um, yeah, this is not what I learned in college. <laughs> yeah, right. I poured many a beer, sir. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, that's like one of those things. I'm gonna, you know, like when you finish the A and B sides, you get the the fourth survivor, which is Hunk. Right. Open up when you finish right. him, you can get tofu. Right. So I'm I'm gonna wait for those three that come out. Like that's gonna come out like in a couple weeks. Okay. It has like the add on oh, ones. Yep. Yeah, it's and got jump the back into sequence it. or whatever. Yep. Right. So I'm gonna chill for that a minute. That free DLC, I cannot wait for it. Yeah, me that's too, man. Awesome. Yeah, but uh, that's uh, that's a full on recommend. But that's all I've been playing. Is that right? That's Question it. mark. Yes, yeah, we were talking about Apex Legends. Steak. It's coming out in the next couple weeks. All right, February fifteenth. Finally, Crackdown three for the PC and Xbox One. Also on February fifteenth, DreamWorks Dragons: Dawn of New Riders for the Nintendo Switch. Also on February fifteenth, Far Cry New Dawn for PC, PS four, and Xbox One. <laughs> also on February fifteenth, Jump Force PC, PS four, and Xbox One. Ten years oh. later, finally even. Yeah. Also on February fifteenth, you're good. Uh, <laughs> Metro Exodus on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. I think I asked this question before. Have either one of you guys ever played any of the Metro games? I Very s- briefly. Yeah, yeah, I started the what was it twenty thirty three? I think it's the first one. Yes, because they it's on the game. They're both on Game Pass. Oh, okay. The, re, the HD version yep. or the remasters. Um, and I started it, and it looked very pretty. I just never – I've always heard great things about them, and Exodus looks gorgeous. Yeah, those games, I said that. I think those would be right up my alley. i got to find I gotta find those. One, one of them, many moons ago, was a PlayStation Plus game. Right. And that's when I played it. I, like, I played it very briefly. I loaded into it, and the world where you start the game is very dark. Yeah. And I was like, ah, I don't feel like straining my eyes. <laughs> I try to see shit. And that was before. That was b- back in the day when I wouldn't just up the brightness on everything. Yeah. Like I would try to follow her, like barely see the silhouette thing. Now I'm like, no, I want to see the whole yeah, fucking no. picture. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me how to be brightness. Uh, let's see. February nineteenth, eight bit ADV Steins Gate for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, also on the nineteenth, Steins Gate Elite for PC, Nintendo Switch, and PS4, and also Steins Gate Linear Bounded uh, Venogram for PC and PS4. Science Gate's one of the, like the really super high end virtual uh, visual novels. Oh, okay. like like really well received. Like everyone kind of I've seen them a lot of time, people play them. I've heard the name. The fact that the elite ones coming out on Switch, is make, I'm very tempted to finally give that mm. a try. Um, what date am I? What date am I going to? Um, on February 21st, Armagami Shadow Edition for the Nintendo Switch. That looks really interesting. I don't know if you've seen anything about that. I would check that out though. That okay. looks really interesting. Um, oh, that's Japan only. Oh, hey, if you want to, if you want to import Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney trilogy, <gasps> is also on February twenty first in Japan, for Nintendo Switch, PS four, and Xbox One. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, can wait, I can wait a month. I think it comes out in March. I think it comes out in February. Oh, it's coming out here. Good. Yeah, it definitely uh, is. Yeah, it is coming here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, February twenty second, Anthem for PC, PS four, and Xbox One. Uh, February twenty sixth, Aces of the uh, Loot Wolf, Loot Wave. Scott Squadron Extended Edition Luftwaffe. for Nintendo Luftwaffe. Switch. I don't know. It's just some up. It's German. Um, Luftwaffe. Also on February 26th, Dirt Rally 2.0 for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. This game, I'm kind of interested to see how this does. Uh, February 26th, Left Alive 
for PC and PS4. It's from Square Enix. It's like that mech kind of game. Oh, it yeah. It kind of looks like a, like a... What was that game they had? Was it? Did they do Mech Assault? No, Front Mission. Front Mission. It kind of reminds me of Front mm-hmm. Mission. So I'm kind of curious to see how that how that does. Uh, February 26th, Rad Rogers Radical Edition for Nintendo Switch. Also on the 26th, Remy Lore for Nintendo Switch. Also on February 26th, Stellaris Console Edition for PS4 and Xbox One. And also on February 26th, the Lego Movie 2 video game for PC, Nintendo Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. Your PlayStation Plus for February games. Uh, for PlayStation 4, you can download For Honor and Hitman, the complete first season. And this is your, your final month ever for PlayStation 3 games. They're giving you uh, Dive Kick, which is a really fun kung fu rhythm game. Two I had buttons. it on my Vita. It's a ton two, of fun. Two buttons. One's dive, one's kick. Yeah. <laughs> that game's a lot of fun. I can it's very that. difficult, though. Um, and the other one, if you've never played it, is, the I think, the best of the series. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. Yeah, so that's, that's really good. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, and then for PlayStation Vita, which is also the final month of PlayStation Vita... Um, just in general. Yeah. So I asked about the PlayStation yeah. Vita. Uh, guns. <laughs> this is finally it. Yeah. The final nail in the coffin. Uh, gun House, uh, which is crossed by with PS4. And Rogue Rogue Aces, which is also crossed by with PS4. Um, I got to say, like, PS3, go, Swan Song being Metal Gear Solid 4 is awesome. But for Vita, that is super disappointing. Yeah, I thought... Like, it's the end. Just... Throw all your first party games out there, like you used, like you had, because for the longest time, like Gravity Rush, Uncharted, all of those were free. Like, yeah. just, who cares? Just throw them out there. You're killing everything just, off anyway. I wish I knew how that business structure worked, because like it, it's not like like obviously we have access to it forever if we've clicked it into right. download whatever it is, but like. I don't. I just don't. I don't know. I feel like I, I feel like they should have done something. Yes. Yeah. But it's their own. Like even if you offer like. Five of your first party big games, like, like getting like you said, Gravity Rush, Uncharted, Golden Abyss, White, uh, White, White Bow. Like, yeah, right, exactly. Just, just grab your the, the titles that sold so well that were first party. Just who cares? And you're not. I, I guarantee they're not selling them on the no, PSN. God, no, so. no, absolutely not. No. Whatever. I don't know. I thought it was weird. But Whatever. It is what it is. Uh, and then your Xbox games with gold for February uh, for Xbox One: Bloodstain, uh, Curse of the Moon from February 1st to the 28th. Uh, Super Bomberman R from February 16th through the 15th. Uh, then for Xbox 360, um, it says it's Creed Rogue uh, until February 15th. And then from February 16th through the 28th, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy from the original Xbox. And then your Xbox Game Pass games for February. So we finally got confirmation on all those hidden ones, and everyone was wrong. Uh, yeah, didn't they say, didn't they, no, except they, for one. One of them was right. Right, but they, they um, like a couple days later, they like unscrambled them, and it was just like we know, like I said, like it was like we know last time you guys did Photoshop, oh, yeah, so like yeah. they like they kind of did, did like a uh, the old okie doke on everybody, which was awesome. Yeah, uh, I'm just, I, following Game Pass on Twitter is just a joy because oh, they're just they're, constantly they're awesome. They're really funny. They're yeah. just throwing stuff out at people. It's they just have a good, good time. They're always tweeting at people too, yeah, and yeah. it's like, and then everyone's like, wait a minute. Is that coming? Yeah. Like, is that game Pass? <laughs> you're tweeting at these guys? Um, so on February 7th, uh, added was Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the yeah. newest one, which is one. unbelievable. Um, Walking Dead Season 1. Does that mean all the Tomb Raiders are in there yes. or have been in there? All, so? all of them are on there. The, 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 the trilogy. Infinite Edition, yeah. and Rise, and now Shadow. Interesting. Uh, Walking Dead Season 1 and Pumped BMX Pro. On February 14th, The Blob is being added. Mm. On uh, February fifteenth, of course, Crackdown three is being added, and that um, allegedly, it, yeah, and that will be up for preload. It's the first oh, game that they're right. going to allow for preload. They Good. Haven't, they haven't said it. They haven't like mentioned that again, but they Good did point. say that at the XO event. So it better be happening. That's true. I haven't forgotten. <laughs> um, and then finally, on February twenty first, Batman: Return to Arkham is being added, which is pretty awesome. Two amazing games. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah, extra, extra. It's time for the news. The continued news. Uh, we already went, went over the respawn thing, so yeah. scratch that off. Uh, lot of er- earnings calls, fiscal quarters are ending, so two news stories from that. Nintendo's adjusted their forecast for FY19 to 17 million switches sold. Their previous forecast was 20 million. Uh, I think because they sold more last year than they anticipated. Yeah. That, and I mean, they don't have... Down with the lineup pushing it like yeah, they did the first I mean, th- year. There's that rumor talking about like there's I mean there's unannounced games coming out from Nintendo coming out this year, but I mean of course there is. Well, right? Of course, like, uh, we haven't had a direct yet, right? So, and yeah, that's, I think that's 
I think that first direct's gonna. It's February. They're not releasing any more games. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're done. Everyone's fine. I think the only thing we have is like what all so we have is Yoshi so far at the end of March. Like that's yeah, that going forward. That's, I think that's right. the only one with the, with a confirmed release. That's like a first oh, party confirmed release. Yes, I think they're supposed to have Luigi's Mansion Three is supposed to come out this year. Or something. Well, right, Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing, Pokemon. I mean, all that's supposed to come but out this there's year. No date. But yeah, there's you're no right, dates. No dates. Or but I think Yoshi's the only one that has a yeah, confirmed right. date so far. And the uh, another interesting tidbit, you know, giving all the uh, everyone's talking about Star Wars and EA and how terrible everything's gone. Uh, during Disney's earnings call, uh, someone asked the CEO about them and video games and. They specifically referenced EA, and uh, a, qu- a quote from that is, uh, he said, we've, we've just decided the best place for us to be in the space is licensing and not publishing. We've had good relationships with some of those we're licensing to, notably EA and the relationship on Star Wars properties, and we're probably going to stay on that side of the business to put our capital elsewhere. I, okay, so, like, this is an unfinished product, right? Like, in terms of, like, we know that there's that Respawn game coming out mm-hmm. later this year. Supposedly. Supposedly. <laughs> and what was the other one that's in the works? That's it. Is that it? Oh, yeah, they can't, they, they they canceled canceled the other, other one. one. Yep, that's the only one right now. And yeah, well, you know they're, pro- they're probably working on another Battlefront. Well, yeah, it's been, they're, they're, they're doing a TikTok. Yeah, thing so that'll Battlefield. be next year if the respawn game comes out this year. Battlefront will probably next year. Right. So I mean, I'd ima- so like, I don't want to like judge this right now because there's still four years left on their agreement. I think we figured yes, out last yeah. time. Yeah, 2023 is when yep. it expires. So like, there's I, uh, but like. Two Battlefront games, two games in six years, and mobile stuff. Yeah, yeah no right. And a whole bunch of mobile stuff. Yeah. So like that's oh man, that's a hard pill to swallow. It's not good. I mean, it's if, not the, good. if the respawn game is great, the next Battlefront game, if it gets a you know, it doesn't it can overcome itself. <laughs> like if, if it cannot be getting that cat. Sorry, God. Um. The yeah, Battlefront Three can get out of its way and and, and just be a good Star Wars game right. because I mean I like I did enjoy Battlefront Two I didn't like all that stuff around it right but um it was just it was just just right there so like I don't know man like there's four years left they might put out three more games like uh, I don't I'm thinking two well, what well, do you want cat <laughs> So I don't know. Like it's it's an unffinished product. So I, I I I hate to like it's like walking out of a movie halfway. Oh no, I know. You know what I mean? So I, know, I hate I to walk no, out yeah, of a movie for sure. halfway. I hear, I hear you. But like I don't know. Like, yeah, it's just it's, it hasn't started off great. It, like this is like a prime time for be a Star Wars fan, right? All yeah. these oh, movies yeah. going on, all this stuff like yep. this could have been like it's like when they really could have taken advantage of the Right. Like <laughs> this is like when we just talk about the Arkham game. Like yeah. the, those Arkham games were coming out at the same time as the Nolan movies were coming out. Like that was like the best Batman decade I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> So, like, I mean, it could have been something like that, and it just hasn't yet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the only other thing I have here is, Stake, you had mentioned that you forgot to talk about Mortal Kombat the last time. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We oh, well. Did you, want, <laughs> did you want to talk about it? I mean, just like briefly. I mean, yeah, they had a reveal um, about it. Uh, it was... Uh, I didn't mean to throw you under the bus no, here in the middle no, of recording. No, 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 not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Stake, you forgot about this. Let's move on. <laughs> let's, let's just keep going. Um, yeah, no, it's... Uh, the guy, they had a reveal. They showed off a lot of the, a lot of good gameplay. They announced some new characters. Um, I mean, obviously, we knew Scorpion and Raiden. Uh, right. They showed off, you know, Sub Zero. Uh, Scarlet's coming back, which yep. is awesome. She has a new design, too, which I like. Oh, yes. The new design's awesome. I like it a lot. Um, a new character, Garus? Sand guy. Something like that, yeah. He looks <laughs> Sand awesome. Sand time man. He looks awesome, though. He does. He looks awesome. really awesome. Well, yeah, uh, well, that's the thing. Like, and the, the story is really cool. It's like they've, like, the good guys have won, but now they're kind of getting drunk with power so like and then and then now they're having like opening time rifts and things yeah. like that and that's how you that's how they're justifying the different like the dark raid in. the dark raid and yeah. but also i'm sure light raid is going to show up there too from oh, the past I'm sure. I'm and sure. then they have like yeah. the old looking scorpion and the newer looking yep. scorpion and yep. so like I, I mean it's it really opens up the possibilities yep. um and then uh sonia is it in as well and yep. actually being voiced by uh, ronda rousey correct Close so that's kind of neat um, and then they have they've had two more events two more reveals since that reveal event they uh, in Brazil they uh, showed off Kano right Kano's in it and then in um, and then they showed off uh, Cabal yep Cabal's in it well, oh, then, I don't uh, think... and um, what's her name Devor Devol, oh yeah yeah the from the the girl the, hey, right, the tentacles right. from the from X which she was one of my favorite uh, of the newer characters from X so that's awesome so what was I gonna say I don't think has Cabal been in a game since three. Yeah, Cabal was in um, nine. He was. Yeah, he, I'm pretty. I'm almost positive he was in nine. Yeah, he he missed he missed ten or X. Right. 
I always get confused because even though this is called <laughs> yeah. 11, because I remember when they announced that, yeah. so people were calling it 10, but then I thought Ed Boon said, no, it's X. Like, I always forget. They just want to do the uh, XL thing. Yeah, like, they, right, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all the reason why they did it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, no, so uh, I'm Just pretty funny because the iPhone's the opposite. Yeah. Ow, but I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure Cabal was in 9. I'm okay. almost positive. Um, but no, but I mean, it looks it looks oh, incredible. Yeah. They yeah. got some new mechanics that are really awesome. Um, now they've got kind of like what Injustice Two had, where you can customize your look mm-hmm. and everything. So you can like so for like, Scorpion, you can change like the mask and everything, and like all the different outfits. Um, so that's going to be really cool. That's going to be a big part of it. It's like collecting all the different gear items mm-hmm. and stuff. That's I mean, in Injustice, that was a huge thing. I loved. Huge. That's that's when I, I was like, oh, loot boxes. I get it now. Yeah, like, oh, I, oh yeah. I understand. Well, that that's different. Yeah, that's all pure cosmetic yeah. stuff and all that kind of. You know what I mean? And that was like, and you're not also. You know, I mean, you could, but you're not spending your own money. You right. Play, I mean, you play through the story mode. You play through, like, the other stuff, and you get The towers plenty, and whatever. You get oh, yeah, 100%. Of, of, of stuff to uh, uh, unlock more of the loot crate. And I really like how, what they're doing with the... Um, I mean, they have, like, the same x-ray attacks, but they kind of switch them up. They have, like... I forget the exact terminology they use, but they have, like, crushing blow and, like, massive blow or something like yeah. that. Where, like, one's, like, the x-ray attacks from old, and they have another one where it's, like, you can activate it, like, during a combo, and it does the same, like, x-ray effects. Right. But it allows you to, like, continue a combo yep. or things like that. So you're getting more of that, like, bone-crunching, like, x-ray, like, destruction. That's uh, it's, That was always super fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're really encouraging, like, to do more of those things. Do they have different yes. meters now, oh, too? Oh, yes, because cause once you get... So when you get down to it, think about, I want to say a fourth or a third, you unlock your crushing blow, Yeah, I think it's called. And like that's like a huge attack that does like a huge move that does like a whole bunch of damage attack. Kind of like, it's basically like to get you back in the game. Right. Like kind of helps you out. All right, you're starting to lose your health. Pull this off, and then that takes off a good amount of health to the other person. The only downfall of that is then if you get into theirs, then they can do it right, to you. Right, exactly. Um, but the nice thing is also, but here is the nice thing is if you miss your attack, there's a cooldown period, mm. so you can regain it back. So it's not yeah. like a one shot. If you miss, that's it. I mean, again though, you are low on health anyway, right. so it, I don't know how long the cooldown period is going to be, but you do have that opportunity to pull it off again. Um, so at least you don't use it, lose it. Yeah, nothing nothing was like missing your X-ray attack oh, or like yeah. oh, an injustice missing your big. Oh. Oh. And then there goes all your. Yeah, mirror. like well, I'm done. I'm it's done now. Gone. I'm just yep. staying here. Yep. <laughs> Sweep uh, the leg. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. But no, like graphically, this looks incredible. Yeah, and then, excited. oh my god, the fatalities they showed off. We're getting insane. We're getting insane. Oh, Baraka, Baraka, they announced as well. Oh yeah, because right. yeah. his fatality was oh, awesome. My god, yeah. He takes one of his knives. Sticks it into your brain, pulls your brain out, and it takes a bite. <laughs> it's almost like pretty awesome. Someone else like punched someone in the back of the head and like made their face pop off. Like yeah. it's just like yeah. a- <laughs> that, that. That was uh, the, the new guy. The new guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. comes back from behind, goes like this, and then your eyeballs pop out in that. Uh, Scarlet, um, <laughs> one of her blood knives, she pushed it through your face, and the eyeball comes oh, out the other God. end. And oh yeah, it's it's. Awesome! It's so gory. It's it's and Mortal like, Kombat. And like I know, like I don't think they have. Like, I'm, I mean, they haven't. I don't think they even announced. No, they announced the the special editions and all that stuff already. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah they did. Yeah, they did. <laughs> and Which yeah, I will be passing on. Unfortunately, like, but like, it's like I know for nine. For Injustice One, for Ten, for X, and Injustice Two, they did the thing where it's just like we have the ultimate edition, we get everything now, yeah, and it's like a hundred bucks, yeah, and then like ten months later, they have like here's the <laughs> Game of the Year edition that has everything, everything, like, oh, yeah, I know, but I want to play it now, I know, so I, it's it's Mortal Kombat, I, I got. Yeah, I, I already reserved the ultimate. Oh, you did. Yeah, it's gonna. It's, I'm getting that. Yeah, absolutely. I did not reserve the collectors. Sorry, I can't no. do the collectors, but I will get the ultimate. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, I almost oh, that collectors edition two, for two hundred dollars more. There's no way I could justify yes, that. Speaking of the collectors editions of things, I eyeballed the Resident Evil Two one for a while. Oh, you that see that one? So awesome! It's so awesome. I wish it wasn't so expensive though. Yeah. Isn't that one like two hundred bucks? Yeah. Yeah, it comes in, in like that an actual. Said, it, yeah, like I said, it comes in an actual. Like, He's probably comes in an actual <laughs> item box like they have in the game. So yeah. like it's like in yep. that, like all your stuff's in there, and it has a big map of the the station. It's just really cool. And that Leon statue is awesome. Yeah, that's awesome too. All right, time for the topic. So, time for would you rather? That's the news. Woo-hoo. I got some. Don't worry, guys. All right, good. <laughs> all right, I thought of something. <laughs> so I mean, it's a classic game. It's like you give people either or choices and discuss how you would actually do it. But we're doing it with a gaming twist on it. So. I'll start. Which one do I want to start with, though? All right, as much as Resident Evil, so we'll start with that. So would you rather live your life in the Resident Evil zombie-filled world or 
would you live in the normal world like this? But Mr. X is always following you. Oh my God. Personally, I think I'd take my chances with the zombies because I can't run that much in terms of Mr. X constantly <laughs> following that, that, me. That, that, that's, yeah, that, that, that gets very tiresome. Fair point. Yeah, I gotta yeah. go with the zombies. Even, the zombies are slow. Even when you, you can, lose, you, that's yeah, right. Yeah. I, qual- I qualify yeah. for zombies. Almost. Um, even if like you know, if I lose him, I'm falling asleep. He's booming around somewhere. Yeah. Like I can't. I just. I couldn't. I couldn't live my life knowing that he's out there. Yeah. I, I'd just be sleeping. Just be like just. Just destroy my face. I've mentally mentally prepared for a zombie apocalypse. I have not <laughs> mentally prepared for someone chasing me my whole life. My God. All right. What's, what's the first one you got? First one I got is. Would you rather not play games for six months or for those six months have to play a game that you absolutely hate for an hour before you can play any other games? So, like, every day you wanted to play games, you had to play that terrible game for an hour before you could play what you wanted to play. Ooh, that's a good one. So, Steak, you'd have to play a MOBA for an hour every day you wanted to play <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I'd give up gaming for six months. That was the case. I don't think I would. I've, I, played, I've played a lot of shit. I, I, can, I can stumble I mean, an hour. I, 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 I don't think too. Like sometimes all I have is an hour. So like, well, there, that's I, what I, I say. That, that's hour. the thing. Like, if well, if all you have, if all you have is an hour, I'd be like, I'm not gonna do that my fucking hour. That's true. Yeah, and then I'm not gonna play. I would just, I would just say you no. skip that day. I mean, yeah, I would. No, I it's 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 as hard as it would probably be. I think no, I think I would. Uh, I think I would give it up. I'd rather play a piece of like I'd rather play a piece of garbage for an hour. I feel like that would make my even like my <laughs> game even more than like I have such a great appreciation well, it, it gives me for the a, good games. See, this gives me an, an excuse. I am so far behind on comic books that like <laughs> for six months I can get caught up on everything that I've been. And then, I bought but then six the months past, later, like, you'll be so far behind on video games. Well, true, but well, <laughs> it depends though. Because I mean, it, like thinking now, like this, these first six months of like this year are, is like it's not much, there's not a ton. There's not yeah, a lot. Like, I, I mean, know. well, January was huge. But, like, going, like, now, starting in February on these next six months. Like, yeah, like, Mortal Kombat. But there's a couple others, too. But there's not a At least not as of right now. I mean, there's still going to be stuff announced. Right. But. As of right now, you still haven't finished Kingdom Hearts. Mm. <laughs> that would have been done before <laughs> I started this. The, no, but starts now. Starts right now. <laughs> <laughs> he asked a question. Pop, pop quiz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've tried giving up games for a month before. And, like... I accidentally played video games. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. Until I woke I was up like, the controller in my hand. Yeah. Well, no. What I, I, happened last night? It was like I, I went to I went to a friend's house where we we would sit there and hang out and like people would just play video games and swap yeah, in and yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And like usually I wouldn't play the games because I am a terrible loser and <laughs> I would get I didn't want to be all pissed off around people having a good you know I'm trying to have a good time so I just wouldn't play. And like they were short people and they're like here play this and I'm like and I normally don't I'm like sure and like halfway through I'm like. Fuck. <laughs> I was supposed to not be playing video games. 40 well. lashes. So I, I'm pretty sure I have to go with the hour of a terrible game. All right, yeah. what do you got? What would you pull up? All right, so you got to pick one of these, all right? Okay. Which one would you rather play? E.T. and Atari? I've already done that. I'm good. Or Superman 64? <laughs> That's a good one. Like, I- to what degree? <laughs> Like to completion. To completion, yeah. To I, completion. Here's the thing. I don't know. I, I mean, I think I could probably. I, don't know if you could I might be. Their game. I might be able to beat Superman sixty four before ET. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't true. know. I don't know how to beat ET. True. I really feel like I was. Am I allowed to look up a guide? Yes. Oh, sure. Yes. Yeah. Why not? Well, then uh, I'd probably go with ET because it's an older I feel game. Like I don't I think was it goes like nearly as long through ET, even though I had no idea what I was doing, and I may have not even accomplished a single thing. But I feel like I was accomplishing things. But I have never played Superman sixty four. I think just for historical context, I feel like I should give it a whirl. <laughs> well, it's funny you say that. Oh God, ah. it's not my turn is in. <laughs> your, your day will come. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I think I have to go with Superman sixty four. As horrible as that is, I just, I just at least at least have the 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 thing going for that. It's in a three D world. As bad mm. as it is, it's at least. Looks slightly prettier know. than ET. I think slightly. I feel like, it's, like, I feel like, like <laughs> if I if I can finish, if I can use a guy, I think I'd pick ET because there's no way that can well, be as long of a game. Well, as true. But it might be more difficult <laughs> to complete. <laughs> like if you die in ET, you got started again from scratch. Oh yeah, my God, that'd be terrible. All right, all right. I don't know. Would you rather play a battle royale game where all the players are Yoshi's or Kirby's? So the way you kill someone is like you would either way you're eating them, right? So it's a bunch of people 
you know, a bunch of Yoshis licking each other or a bunch of Kirby sucking each other. And that's how you would, that's how you had to like. She said. That's sounds so sounds like a fun Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Kirby all the way. I think because, so, Kirby too. Because, because, because also think about it, Kirby gains powers. You swallow someone and then you gain a new power. <laughs> you're all Kirby's. You're just a, you're just, you're, 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 you're Kirby. Well, you're stuff in the world though. Like, oh, I'm thinking true. like there's stuff in the world you could swallow. That'd be fun. And then you could turn, and then you turn into like, or like, you know, you have like a, I don't know, you have like a, um, you know, there's a bonfire. You suck in the fire, you, you swallow it, and then you have a fire move that you could do. Like, I, I, just, I don't know, stuff like, like that would be awesome. I would picture just having, like, the actual, like, blackout, like, super hyper-realistic map. Yeah. These, this is Kirby's, <laughs> Kirby's flying. And, realistic like, Kirby's. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Kirby's eating, like, the the armor truck and all of them like okay. armor I'd plating. Okay I'd play that, that game. That, that'd be awesome. Go, going back to the last question, the main story in E.T. takes 33 minutes to beat. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I want. I, I'm gonna look up a tutorial. This is, I, just, I, just, I just gotta know. I, I feel like I feel like I was so close to finishing the game. I swear to God. Uh, I, I yeah. I guess I'd go with the Kirby thing. <laughs> All right. What's your next one? Are you still? Are you doing uh, ET walkthroughs? Yeah. <laughs> um, my next one is: Would you rather get new, innovative games and stories, but with early PS3 visuals, or continue on the current trajectory of games? Is that first one again? New it, like new game modes and stories, oh, okay. like stuff we haven't seen before. Instead of the same old first person shooter, now battle royal, now you know. I hear, so I or would you saying. rather get just keep going, but with PS3 visuals, okay. or keep going the way things are going now? Man, I'm okay. I think with just keep going with the way things are going now, because and I think that's I could credit that to Resident Evil Two. Mm. Because, like, that is doing the same thing. Like, it's basically a PS1 game that looks um, gorgeous. You know what I mean? Like, the way it works, like, the way, I mean, minus the tank controls, obviously. But, like, but, like, but still, though, the way that game works, it's, like, I felt nostalgia. Of right. It. Like, like, it, like, after playing through that, I got an itch, and I'm like, I really want to play Dino Crisis now. Like, mm-hmm. like, after playing that, like, I'm just, like, I got that itch. Like, so, but it looks so good, like I don't care. Like, yeah, I found myself just like looking. I found myself just like looking at stuff. Like, like when I was like walking around in the, in the yeah, office. I'm in, a, I'm in the era of, like especially with like the 4K right. and all that kind of stuff where it's like I want my stuff looking. I'm okay with the same stuff as long as it looks super pretty. I would like man, like it's it's so weird. Like for me, like the unknown of what that means. Like in the first part of that question, like I mean, what it looks like is one thing, but like what is like new gameplay features and new game and like what does that even mean? Right. Like I'm curious on that because you guys, I play all kinds of madness and sure. like weirdo yep. stuff. So I think for me, I think I would stick with the PS3 graphics and try different weird stuff because I do that anyway. <laughs> like Get Even could be a PS3 game. Like honestly, guy, graphically. How about you? I I think I'd I think I'd stay with just the current trajectory because I mean it's. I but I like the current the, trajectory uh, of stuff the, too. I, I mean, the, I don't know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> the, well, the, like pick one. It's I know. Be hard. I know. Because <laughs> you, 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 you always hear people. It's, it's like I don't. You know, visuals don't matter. Just give me something new. Give me something great. And then you have people who are like, No, I need my. I need my 4K. I everything should be minimum 60 frames per second. Right. You know that's why we need a new console generation now is because right. not not everything can can do 4K 60 FPS. Right. Um. But like, I'm fine with the way you know you have you have your typical first person shooters. You have all these battle royales coming out. But every now and then, there's a game that comes out that is that is a great game that is significantly different from the things before. Mm-hmm. And I feel like if you were just constantly getting new great things, I mean, it, if everything's off, awesome, nothing's awesome. Mm-hmm. It's right. just a standard. I learned that in The Incredibles. <laughs> I just. You know, with that on my own. <laughs> no, it, 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 well, it, no, I agree because like, look at like God of War. If, if every, like, God of War was so different. It was like this was incredible, but like, but I feel like that was on the trajectory of what we're at though too. Right. right. You know what I mean, like that was like, but but it was like it was like the next evolutionary step mm-hmm. of that type of game. Right. Right. But yeah, like take it like a Dark Souls almost kind of a, approach in a way, like controls wise, nice. not difficulty wise, but controls wise. What else you got? What's your next one? Um. Okay. So would you? I just I'm kind of going based off whatever it says. All right, so would you rather play the most epic story game ever where it takes you 20 hours to beat, 15 of those hours are story, and five is actual gameplay, or would you rather play the worst game you could ever possibly play in your life and it takes you 10 hours to beat that game and it's nothing but gameplay? Like, the worst controls, the worst gameplay you could possibly think of. First, I'm not even... 
I played that game as Metal Gear Solid 4. Well, <laughs> that's, that's kind of where I was thinking. That's where, like, like, because Metal Gear, that is Metal Gear. Yeah, like, and like, Metal Gear Solid 4, it is, it is 85% story and, like, 15% gameplay, and it's amazing. I don't think, I, I, if a game had 10 hours of bad gameplay, I don't know if I could sit through all 10 hours. Right, that's the thing. Like, I, I you know, I've quit games in much less time for <laughs> one bad trait, let alone, you know, everything being terrible. But well, I know, also, like you, like you, you play a lot of like you know, like Rainbow Six, like stuff like that doesn't have stories. Right, that's, that's, that's the thing, I'm though. Sure like I'll sit there and play games where that. it's a story game and there's a long cutscene, and I'm sitting right. there, I'm on my phone, and I'm like, come on, get, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> get, oh, get, get with the get, get with the shooting, let's Kingdom go. Hearts three, you you just go nuts. Yeah, you know, some of these cutscenes. <laughs> so I don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, say, I figured you picked story. Yeah, oh, I, was yeah. say, I was curious what, what e- you would pick I feel on like that either one. way I lose in this. Yeah. <laughs> either, either way, I'm playing, I'm playing a game I don't want to play. Yeah. I mean, what did you say? It was like a 20 hour game? And it's a 20 hour game, but 15 of those hours is like the story, see, like cut scenes, and like five hours of actual like gameplay. Man, that, ooh, that's rough though, too. Yeah. That's like watching a season of a TV show. Yeah. I mean, I. I guess I'd go with that option because I mean that's kind of what the Telltale games are. It's yeah. not. Oh, it's, it's not super yeah. deep. You know, that's true. It's not super deep gameplay. Right. You are moving someone, you know, from point A to point B. But twenty hours. I mean, that would have to be broken up over weeks for me. Because <laughs> like that, that would have to be like in five hours a week chunks. <laughs> but rather than sit there and power through ten hours of just complete trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do it. I don't, man. I know. No, I've done that before. Like, <laughs> like, Alone in the Dark for the 360 was yeah, you tell 10 hours story. of complete trash and a thousand achievements on that. Good for and you. That was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> like, I still this day I will never forget that. It was awful. I mean, I've played I've played games that are like, there's there's good stuff going on, but there's right. one or two things that are just god awful. I'm like, nope, <laughs> done. Right. All right. So, would you rather, in their prime, mind you, you punched in the face by either Brock Lesnar or Andre the Giant. Now I know this has nothing to do with video games, <laughs> but I was thinking about this, and I I, I just want to talk about it. So the well, let me hear what you guys think first before I, just, I this is like that classic like shower thought thing. Like I was in the shower thinking about this a couple days ago. Don't ask me why. So we, we, in their prime, who would you rather get punched in the face by? My gut says Andre the Giant, but I haven't seen enough of. I haven't seen enough of him like moving around in his prime. To, That's what I'm saying. Because it it's the unknown, and his fist is as big as this table. It, well, his fist is as big as a table, but like <laughs> with a punch, it's it's about hand speed. Right. And I feel Lesnar like Andre the Giant was always a big lumbering guy. Right, but I mean, so he might be able to like, you know get that arm moving and like you know be the size of your skull, but like Lesnar is like a, a legit athlete. Who you have to figure can get some speed behind that fist. There's also like a Viking king, who is just a massive and, and, and does have a, a, at least a little bit of training in throwing a punch. Right, but and we've seen him throw punches and land punches too, so we kind of yeah. get an idea yeah. of what that would be. But there's just like I, I don't think I've ever seen a video of of a 20 year old Andre the Giant. Like there's those stories of him yeah. like picking up cars and shit. So like I mean I don't know how much of that is legend, but like I would I think I'd rather get punk, punched by Brock because I just I mean it's you see. Under the giant's hand around like a beer can is, is bigger than no, the beer I, can. I, I know, I mean, but but <laughs> I, I, surreal I just, thinker. I just think Brock could kill me in one punch. Like I think he just knocked me out like dead. Just push your job into your brain. Pretty much. And just like, <laughs> like we're talking like world kind of fatality <laughs> yeah, style I mean, here. Like, Brock like, does. He's a walking, talking X-ray yeah, fatality. Yeah, because like I mean, and I, I don't disagree with you with Andre in terms of his like his hand size and all that kind of stuff. But he's even in his like. Like in, like in WWE days and everything, like he was never as like cut. As oh like yeah, Brock is and oh, yeah. stuff like that. So like that's why like for me, I feel like Brock would just just like I think that would just destroy you. Where Andre, like it may knock you out, but you'll wake up. I feel like <laughs> I, I feel like your entire body would hurt if Andre the Giant punched you. Like your toe, like your toes would like explode. God, I just don't. That's so hard. I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, Andre the Giant can't be cut because he's like downing like gallons of beer a night. Mm. I mean, it's like asking, do you want to be hit by, like... A train a, or a semi. Like, <laughs> yeah. you, do you want to be hit by, like, a so, like a solid, like, tree, like, log, like, moving at moderate speed, 
or you want to get hit upside the head with a steel mace being like swung around. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, neither, we're, neither we're, one's going right. to feel good. Well, this is not. Uh, I mean, this is. I mean, that's the, that's that's the nature of the game, is picking something that's difficult. I think I'd rather be punched by Brock Lesnar. I think I'd, I'd take my chances with Andre. Man, just, I'm, I'm putting a lot of stock into this whole speed thing. Oh, man, I don't know. This is he's a six. bigger. He's a bigger guy. He's less coordinated. So there's a chance he's not going to be as accurate as hitting hitting that point. That's going to. Put you down, but it's gonna be a fucking boulder upside your head. So, yeah, well, his whole. I'm gonna give him two cases of beer first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, Andre here. Instead of punching, <laughs> instead of punching, <laughs> instead of punching me, go ten yards back and just throw the keg at. <laughs> Good talk, guys. Thank you. For, <laughs> thank you for indulging me on this non-gaming one. <laughs> Any of the ones you all good at all of them? Uh, the last one I had was: Would you rather date a jar of mayo or a pigeon? I just took me a minute. Pigeon. Pigeon. <laughs> Pigeon. I, I very, frequently, very frequently say no mayo in my life. <laughs> so I've never said no pigeon. <laughs> so. Pigeon. I, I think it also. Oh. You have another one? All right. I got, I, two, got, I got two more. Oh, I got an interesting one. Oh, that's okay. Let's hear it. It's, uh, it's a little sexy. Oh, well, of course. Oh, finally. What do you uh, think? What do you think the, the mayo and pigeon thing was? Oh well, yeah, well yeah, this is a little date. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we think the punch in the face was all about. Take, we'll, <laughs> we'll take date one step further. Who'd you? Uh, you know, you know. Yeah. yeah. Samus or Laura Croft? Which version of them? <laughs> <laughs> I feel Laura like Croft part. now. <laughs> or Laura, Laura Croft now or Zero Suit Samus? Oh man. <laughs> All right, hang on. I don't, I don't know what Zero Suit Samus looks like. You're gonna get oh. you, you, put um put incognito search on first before you do anything. You're gonna get some stuff. You don't know what's gonna show up. It's fine. I think Laura Croft just for the. Phone. I think Laura Croft just for the, you know, notoriety of the whole thing. If we're going with Zero Suit. I gotta go. I'm gonna go with Zero Suit. That doesn't look the same as the other pictures. That's that. That's that. That. I mean, yeah, well, not that one. Let me find your <laughs> Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. <laughs> images, dude. Dude, just click images. Yeah. I'm worried what my company I hit image. Images. <laughs> just do it. It's I don't fine. think I have safe search on. It's, oh, God. it's my work phone. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> they go on the tablet. <laughs> I should have oh, gone on the they, tablet. They get a bigger picture, too. Oh, there's some cosplay here. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you, what, you said zero suit? Zero suit. I go zero suit. I love, I love Laura. But I'm going to I'm, I'm have to go with Laura Croft. I've always preferred uh, darker hair. <laughs> that's, that's a very adult look, look at that. Listen, <laughs> no, look, look, look it. it. When you have two... It really is. It really is. When you have two things that are <laughs> very close to identical in a lot of other aspects, <laughs> you got to start nitpicking. <laughs> oh, my God. Um... You know, you have two cars that are pretty much the same. I prefer the blue car over the black car, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Um, would you prefer Nintendo's next system be the most powerful system on the market? So the Xbox One X of next generation is from Nintendo. Sure. Or Microsoft or Sony making a Switch-like console for their next console? I think uh, their only next console, like they're yes. not going to have a yes. console and Correct. a handheld. No, this is not a Vita two. This is Sony's next console is a or Switch. It's like a dock, right? It's a little bit lower again, but it's like this the lowest end of the of the spectrum in terms of like power. <sighs> Can I pick which one makes it? Sure. There's no rules here. There's either or. I'd I'd, I'd rather have Microsoft's next console be a Switch like console. I want to see Nintendo with high power. I just because out of my own curiosity, because it had never been the highest. Well, that's, that's my thought. Is like, they, they, so they already put out high quality games showing they don't need the power, right? But what if they had PlayStation it? already has these great exclusives that need the power. Microsoft has exclusives that aren't really great. See, see that. See, I, I agree with you, Nintendo. But that my your exact reasonings are why I would swap about my Microsoft and PlayStation. Though PlayStation has great exclusives, and I don't need the visuals because the games are great. Mm. 
So I could play those. I would love to play those on the go, like Spider-Man and all that stuff. I would love to play that kind of stuff on the go. Where Microsoft, I mean, the X has shown, like, they know hardware. They know what to do to get the best out of games. So even though they don't have these, but they get the best out of the games. So I would want that on my larger TV and let that keep growing. I want my wouldn't, 4K. Wouldn't 16. you trust them more to optimize the handheld device, handheld hybrid device, than? Sure, sure. If you're going I, no, that route? I, in that aspect, sure, absolutely. But I think I just want, but I want, but I would re- like to, like, like Dragon Quest Eleven, like, like that's a good example. Like I, that is coming for the Switch now, so mm-hmm. I will be getting that again for the Switch. But, but it's, I thought. Wait, hold on a second. I thought this year was going to be different. <laughs> <laughs> it is different. I said I'm not going to, I'm not going to go based on reviews. Oh, okay. I uh, <laughs> personal preferences. Personal preferences is a different story. Um, well, they're adding stuff to it too. Like it's not just it's they're adding stuff to the game as well. Um, it, it was my number two game from last year. All right. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, but like but like I would love but like. But that's the thing, though, too. Like, like, even though they're adding stuff, I might not be a little less inclined, though, actually, to get right. it for the Switch. Because if I already had it for the PlayStation on the go, I'd be fine. Right. Or, like, all the Yakuza games. Like, I could play those on the go. That'd be awesome. Like, I'd be, I would love that. But, I, like, I don't need... Because, like I said, like, with those games, yeah, even though visually they are stunning, like, a lot of these games and everything, like, God of War, visually stunning and everything. But, like, but I still enjoyed the gameplay and the story. So I could cut back on the graphics for all that. Where Microsoft, like... Like, you know, like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, for instance, where it's like, I want that extra vid- visuals, like help. And like ReCore. ReCore is actually a perfect example of an exclusive where not the best game, but it looks amazing. And I had fun playing it on Xbox because like the graphic kind of actually helped me, pulled me along because it looks so good. I wanted to, I, it yeah, kept yeah, yeah. me going. But don't you think the PS5 will at least be able to do what the One X does? Yeah, but the next Xbox will go even better than that. Yeah, but... PlayStation Five as of right Here's now. Here's the thing: I, it I, might be. Com- I'd rather to the X where the next where the X two is going to be the four K sixty frames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather have Horizon or God of War or Spider Man playing as well as it does, looking as good as it does, as opposed to Microsoft's exclusives, which let's be honest, most of them is would be is polishing a turd. So I mean, you're so you're saying that the Sony exclusives are more. Important to have like I, I'm, a full I, experience. I, yes, I, I care more about having those at their best than having Microsoft's hardware knowledge. I just want. On their I just want my hyper realistic oh. Kirby Battle Royale. Yeah, so that's why I want <laughs> the high end Nintendo console. Well, knowing, but for me also too. I mean, thinking more so now about that is knowing the studios that Microsoft have have bought. And the direction I believe they're going to take with the next generation, I want that more and more on home and everything because that's going to be we're going to get like that. we're going to get a super high quality next gen Fable. Like we're going to get don't, all this shit don't, next don't year. Don't like, promise me things. This you can't huge deliver on. super next uh, Ninja Theory game. Like yeah. I cannot wait to see what that's going to be all about. Like there's a lot of stuff that like all these studios that they bought. I I think is going to do them good. And I, I hope make a huge I difference. hope it does them good because it has to. They it can't do many worse. I don't th- has any system lost two years? Like two? No. Outside of Sega? No, they've they've they, they, they've been flip flopping. I'm saying like, I mean that's because you had, well because you had because you had orig- well because you had PS2 beat yeah. out original Xbox, but then you had 360 dominate the PS3, right. and now we have the PS4 dominating the Xbox One. So they it depends on. And the PS1 you had no competition the, from Xbox. The 360 PS3 generation depends on how you term it. Right during the. Early stages, middle stage, it was it was all Xbox. By the end, PlayStation had caught up. Right, PlayStation caught up at the end. Yeah, but I mean, but but I mean, still but, caught up. But, but but it took them years to catch up. <laughs> that means they had, a, they had a stronger end of the generation cycle. Sure, but I would still give the I still give the advantage of the whole cycle to the Xbox though. Xbox Xbox dominated for seven years, PlayStation for three. Like they dominated for seven years and still got caught. Well, they, they're not, not, not totally caught up. I mean, they didn't like. I, I mean, know, in terms of like ended up. like sales, I don't. I don't believe caught up like that much. Anyway, all right. Stat check. Yeah, <laughs> I got one more. Ooh, that was back to the <laughs> search for <from> earlier. <laughs> all right, last one I got. So, would you rather spend the rest of your life in that like infinite loop of portal falling, like when a portal got one of the ceiling, <laughs> one of the floor would just fall forever, <laughs> or uh, glitched into the ground? Where like you are now glitched Ooh. into the geometry and you can so it's like infinite moving 
and no moving is pretty much where, like you're like you from yep. shins down you're stuck in the floor I think I gotta go with infinite moving I think the being, infinite falling yeah because I think being stuck in one spot would drive me insane <laughs> like just being stuck in the same like even though like you're constantly falling in the same exact spot you're falling that's fine but but at least I'm moving where if I'm stuck in the ground right here and I can't move for the rest of my life I think I'd go nuts I can see that <laughs> I don't know how I would eat if I was falling forever people just like throw me food and yeah, I hope I catch it just throw a burger in the, in the portal <laughs> <laughs> it's, miss it 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 it's feeding time Turn, roll over <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna toss food up and just hope it hits you in the face <laughs> I'm just trying to think of the logistics of how you would live your life if you're just falling forever. Like, it's just right here. Like, it's just like a pole. Like, a, like a pole of just you falling forever. Right. Can you imagine if, like, if, if somebody's uh, like, if the cat jumped across it? Like, you just demolished oh the cat. Oh, my God, yeah. So, you're falling forever, like... The, well, it's, it's Let's like, assume someone can jump over there and tackle you and take you back off it. Well, I'm not, that's not the loophole I'm getting at okay. here. Like, it's, it's, it's not... It's a whole different loophole. It's not like... <laughs> You you accidentally slightly adjust and you slam into the the ground next to where the portal yeah, hole yeah, is. Yeah. You're just it, it, everything around you is portal and you're just constantly falling. Right. Oh, that feeling that that feeling of uh, weightlessness kind of could be peaceful. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I just, I just, I'm just Plus, thinking, I'm just thinking of the logistics. If I if I can't move, I I, I, I kind of twitchy and claustrophobic. Not like I have a panic attack, but like if if I'm like. If I get wrapped up in my blanket at night because I was rolling around yeah. too much, like I start like, kicking and throwing shit around. <laughs> you'd be like, a, you'd be like a rat caught in a trap. You like gnaw your your yeah. knee off. So I, I, I just <laughs> chew myself off in the waist. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess falling forever. I, I don't yeah. know. I just. I gotta go with the falling forever. How would you pee? You just go, man. You just go. <laughs> but like in that, you go in that direction, <laughs> and you don't drift in that direction. <laughs> <laughs> but then, then your pee is also falling with you forever. Someone's gonna get in there. Well, if your waist is underground, you're gonna piss all over yourself anyways. No, I can, I can still pull down to my knee. No, oh, wait, your knee waist. down. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were like waist down. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> you've only glitched to the knee. I'm pretty sure I'm still taking the falling. Man, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like everything's like a it was like an old timey like movie. Like like yeah, like turn the wheel to to watch anything. How do you how would you do anything? I don't know. I don't you know. know I, think, I think I'd rather be stuck in the floor. Shame on, and shame on Valve for not uh, updating Portal 2 for VR so I could do that in VR. It feels oh, they, like they have, see how like a real they have it, the playroom. Well, Oculus on PAC, there's people who have modded it, so you can do that oh, with the Oculus. That just sounds like a recipe for sickness. <laughs> oh, like, that sounds they, so bad. We, so we can actually re- re- live we it can and find see, out. see how it feels. Okay. So step one, you're going to stand, one, give me stand here. All right, that's how that works. Right, right, Second two, good. just drop you and then vomit everywhere. Is that three? Someone holding garbage bag in my yeah, mouth. Yeah. See, like, <laughs> like I'm, you know, I, I'm afraid of heights from the perspective of like if I fall, I'm oh, gonna, I'm gonna oh, hit the too. ground me and too. it's gonna fucking hurt. and I'm gonna die. Yeah, me too. If there's that's no true. risk, that might be if, like if, never ending vertical. <laughs> well, but there's no risk of me hitting the ground and feeling that impact that or pain. Yeah. I don't know, man. I just, I just can't see like. I don't know how that would just mess with like your body and everything because it's like then you're like really never like you're always feeling gravity. Yeah. I don't know. You go to one of those indoor skydiving places where they just blow you up with a fan <laughs> and just do that for like twenty minutes. Just figure it out. <laughs> but, like this is eternity. This is, this, 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 see if this you is my can, life. Now. See if you can just like close your eyes for a second <laughs> if you'd be able to relax. I, mean, I would be able to fall asleep. <laughs> Man, I think I still think I get stuck in the wall or stuck in the floor. Stuck in the floor or stuck in the wall. I don't, man. You guys are crazy. I just, I could, you, I can fall forever. <laughs> just, I think moving would be better than standing still. Ah, man, I just. I mean, is, is hacking myself off the knees an option? <laughs> no. no, come on. Okay, well, I, if you can't, if you can't jump, if you can't get out of the loop, you can't get out. You can't, you know. Hey, you're the you're the one can't be Lieutenant you're, Dan. You're the one who brought up chewing yourself off the at the way I knees are. I was just making a joke. Uh, <laughs> So, <laughs> is it a possibility? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Things are I, said in jest. I want to know if it happens. I would say no. Well, yeah. You guys are crazy. Really? I don't know. I think that I, I'm just, again, I'm just thinking about this logistically, but whatever. Are you stuck on the ground indoors or outdoors? Uh, inside. 
It's just more geometry on the inside. That's what I'm saying. I don't like it. <laughs> nope. It's just, I mean, insane. If it was outside, actually, I might be. I mean, maybe a little more tolerable. Because I'd be all oh, no. Because a lot. That. No. Because I mean, yeah, the weather changes would suck. But you got, but you got like things actually going on outside. We're yes. inside. It's well, the if I'm same inside, can I like look. bring in accommodations? Like, can I have someone set up a TV? Give me a video game controller. Can I get like a stadium, oh, yeah. a stadium pal run so I piss in a bottle? But you glitch in a in a real video game into the floor. Is it usually at a convenient spot? No, it's not. So no, you can't. Yeah, we'll say like you would get, <laughs> you would get stuck in the corner here, like here, facing the wall. Yes, you like clipped in. Yeah, it's different. Clipped into Be- the wall because you saw something shiny over here. Yeah. And you thought it was a med pack, and you yeah. came over here. And it was now nothing. You're, now you're clipped into the wall. Now you're clipped into the yeah. There you go. Because that's exactly what it happens. It's stuff like that. <laughs> that happened to me in Maze. Yeah. <laughs> See, I just keep thinking of like questions for loopholes here, which I know isn't the purpose of the whole thing. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, I'm in the wall there, in the corner there, so I'll get a construction crew out here, cut out that corner <laughs> of the wall, expand the house. No. You're stuck in uh, Minecraft stuck. bedrock. I spent plenty of time standing in the corner in grade school. <laughs> it wasn't I felt fun. Like I had no oh, legs. It wasn't <laughs> fun. I'd rather fall. Me. I don't know. I just, I, I, I don't know. I, People are throwing cheeseburgers at me as I fall through, like, over and over. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Just love it. We'll, we'll, we'll work out a system where, like, they you know send a stick out with like a, a, bur- <laughs> yeah. a burrito with like, like a claw and just grab it on your way back. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good one, though. All right, and we got any, anything else at all of them? No, I think that's good. it. Thank God. No, but Xbox 360 sold 84 million units. PS3 sold 83.8. Really? Yes. <sighs> that's, oh, that's crazy. crazy. Hmm. I. Th- I th- I thought there was a bigger divide. Oh, I guess not. I thought there was a bigger divide between the two, especially because Xbox 360 came out first. It did. Like By a year. year. I don't know. All right. So now it's time for my gift to you. It is. It was Stace's gift to Art. It is. This is our point of our uh, our show where you know one of us gets someone else a game, gives them a chance to play something they've never played before, and come back with their impressions, reviews, thoughts, concerns, loves, and hates. Ooh. I can watch you. I'm already done with it. Go ahead. Do whatever you want, cat. Is that the same one you opened the last, like two episodes ago? <laughs> as super as loud as at the beginning. Can, it's a different. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a different beer. But oh, so it's not the company. the can of peaches that you opened up last time. Yeah. Um. So steak gave art. Steak gave me Onimusha Warlords. Yes. For Xbox One. Mm-hmm. Um. So I, I I had played Onimusha back in the day on what was it PS2? Yes. I had played it back then. I enjoyed the game back then. Um, playing this now made me leave the made me believe that some things become extinct in the world for a reason. Like, what? and I don't mean Onimusha. <laughs> I mean the fixed camera bullshit. Ah, uh, yes. yes, that's that's that was the biggest hurdle for me as well. Playing that game, I uh, that was so difficult. Yeah. That was very difficult. So. It, you, you, judging by my tone, you can already tell I, I did not have a good time with this. <laughs> um, How far did you get? Never. Okay. I made it to the what I think is like the first ish boss battle we where I, the campfire type thing. Yeah. Yeah. And like five times in a row, I died because the camera would just like twitch back and forth yeah. as I'm oh, running. I know. I'm running in a circle it's a, it's a pain in the and I'm trying to stick and move. And after like the fifth time, I'm like, I'm done. I got better things I'd rather do with my time right now. Um, the thing is, like, even playing the part, the, the little bit of the game I did play. I enjoy the hack and slash aspect of it. I like the, the you know the system there where you suck up the souls or whatever yes. the hell the orbs, yeah. and you use that to upgrade your weapons or whatever. But the fixed camera thing, I just I couldn't. Even before that boss battle, I was having problems with it in other areas. Sure. And uh, it's one of those things like I was thinking like after I turned it off and I was thinking about it more like how to describe it you know my displeasure with this. <laughs> it's uh like if you go back and you try to play Goldeneye. Yeah, there's a oh, reason why gosh. FPS has evolved. That is, the second it was stick exists. awesome. <laughs> it was awesome back then. It right. was revolutionary, right. sure. groundbreaking for a home console to have a first-person shooter like that, but also a multiplayer. If you want to play it now, it is just hot garbage. <laughs> yeah, um, it's not even hot. It's just garbage. <laughs> it's like, all, all, the only th- reason someone would play that game would be nostalgia. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's like this game. They remade it. Obviously, the graphics are a little bit better than it was on PS4. They're still not great. It's oh, still yeah, that's what we talk about still too. looks yeah. very outdated. Oh yeah, um, sorry, it was twenty bucks. <laughs> so it yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Yeah. It was twenty bucks <laughs> instead of thirty or even, or, you know, even thirty or forty. Right. Twenty bucks, right? <laughs> I, I can get that. Um, if they made like like I asked when it came out, would you rather them remake the other Onimusha games or a new one? 
You guys, I think you both said a new one. I want yeah, a new one. Absolutely. If they made a new one, I would absolutely play it and try yeah. it. But this with this fixed camera stuff and the fact that you do need to like move as you're in combat here, I, I could I couldn't do it. I can't do it. Yeah. It's. I want to like it because I know I liked it back when I played it originally, <laughs> but I just can't. I can't. That's like it's one of those things like it's an antiquated technology. It's antiquated for a reason. Mm. No, I, I hear you, man. No, I, that I was yeah. That was my. I think, I think you and I have more of an affection for that game, oh, so yeah. we can like look by that. So like, yeah. I can totally yeah. understand. That's I think you're. you're I get it. You're very valid. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, like, there argument. was plenty of times where I was I was yelling oh, yeah, at the TV, 100%. like especially like that final boss. Like, oh my god, I'm yelling at the not the final the one before the final boss, right, right, right. but I was screaming at the TV. <laughs> so like, there was times where like I would be running around and I get hit because I didn't like the camera changed and then I instead of running away, I run back right back to yep. him. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> well, see, even there, there's a part before that little boss battle where you're in like an outdoor patio garden area where there's oh, like yeah. plants in the middle yep. and you're there's like a oh, circle on the outside yeah. oh and the one God. like i was sitting there and you know fighting and you know figuring out how to fight these certain enemies and uh they're hitting me and i ran around the one side and i didn't realize there's a little like offset area there and i run past it and i'm dead i'm like what the fuck just happened <laughs> and uh you know, you, you never really get a clear glimpse of that when you're running in a right, circle right, trying right. to, uh, you know, yep. kite the enemies and wait for them to attack so you yep. can counter. And um, like I said, they put out a, a new one or even remade one of the other ones and got rid of the fixed camera crap. I would absolutely play it. And like I said, I, I, kn- I played this game before when I was you know, at, uh, at Northern. And uh, I remember playing it. I remember liking it. I remember beating the game. But that wasn't enough to get me to keep pushing through the... Uh, like I said, I died like five times in a very short order. I'm like, yeah, that's fair. Sure. I'm done. No, I'm I done. I, no, I totally get it. This is not worth my frustration. Yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> well, the I, kicker, too, was like I played it. I took a day off of work because I like I needed like a mental rest day. Cause I was going to ready to just napalm everyone in my office. Mental <laughs> health days are the best. They are. <laughs> like, like, there's days where I take mental health days, and it's like I, I, I would have been fine. Like this, <laughs> I, I legit <laughs> no. needed like if I went into work, I would I would scream at everyone. I would say fire. I would there would have been a meeting with me and managers because I was gonna just go off on everyone. <laughs> um, and, and like so, I'm taking this day to like relax and not be pissed off. And I'm sitting there going through dying five times. I'm like, nope, this this is not what I need <laughs> there's, today. There's definitely some times I'm playing a game like this isn't making me happy. <laughs> and uh, why am I doing this? You know, more and more, I've been doing that with games where I'm like. I'll be, I'll be playing. I'm like, I'm not having fun doing this. I'm just gonna stop. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. All right. So now we're going back around the horn. So yeah. now you're we're reversing the horn. Reversing. <laughs> going, whatever. You are giving steak a game. Right. So I went back and listened to uh, parts of last episode, two episodes ago, two episodes, two episodes ago. What are we talking about? Resolutions. Two episodes. I think. Yes. Or three. Well, actually, it was last episode and two episodes ago. So, okay. So you know, I listened. To, let me back and listen to the resolutions. You know, stick talk about playing through his backlog more, which I don't know what's in his backlog, so I can't help him there. <laughs> <laughs> but he went, and we did last week, we did the, or last episode, we did the PlayStation interview part. And Mr. PlayStation VR played no <laughs> VR games. <laughs> yeah. Not a single hour of VR. It's terrible. So I'm going to help you make what your resolution should have been <laughs> to play more VR. Excellent. Um, Excellent. Yes, I will. <laughs> so I, I brought you one of the games from my top five list last year. Ooh. Astrobots. Nice. Excellent. Um, so you can play this. You can put, drag that. out. You can drag out your VR headset and yes. unhook it when you're done because <laughs> you got the old box. I know. God. Sorry. I, you know, that's why you like, play it that I, much. I, I know like, that. Honestly. I know that. And like I've tried looking around oh. on, like on eBay for like broken VR sets oh, that yeah. had the new box. Oh yeah. Just to see if you can buy like a broken right. PlayStation VR for like fifty bucks. Right. Because that convenience would be worth it. Yep. Like if I had to unhook my PSVR every time I wasn't using it. I a never would have got it. B would have sold it by now. Sure, absolutely. Um, like I said, it's just super annoying. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, you can play that. It's uh, I really enjoyed that game. I, I haven't beaten it yet. I play it in very small chunks because I can only keep the headset thing on so long. I've actually scratched my glasses on the oh, VR really? uh, headset. <laughs> yeah, there's like because to get the clearest view, like I have to push the, the lenses as oh, far yeah. forward as I, I, I go. Yeah, so I there's know. like when li- I have my glasses on too. Yep. Th- there's little yep. rub marks. Yeah, in two equal <laughs> spots, my glasses. You know what I've discovered too is you, you have problems with like like with sweat. No, I have glasses. Oh, okay, so I do. I, when I, play, usually. I have problems with sweat all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I actually have microfiber, microfiber cloth and I put it on like on oh. my fo- like like this over here, and then I put the helmet on, so it's like resting here, and I never then I don't get it collects the sweat from yeah. me, so it doesn't like that's because I lot of times my problem is like I'll get the clear view finally because it's so close to my eyes though, mm-hmm. 
And then after like five, like ten minutes of playing, it starts fogging up because <laughs> of the sweat and shit. <laughs> and it's like, oh my god, it sucks. So it's like, so I discovered that it's actually helped me go through extended extended time. So nice. cool. That's a good choice. Awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. That's awesome. Art. Yo, where can people find us online? People can find us online on. Oh, yeah, this, this this all changed when I'm renaming the podcast. <laughs> People can find us on Facebook by searching The Sticks Podcast. You can find us on iTunes, SoundCloud, other podcasting services by searching The Sticks Video Game Podcast. You can find us on Twitch at Sticks Podcast. You can find us at YouTube at YouTube.com slash Sticks Gaming Vids. And hopefully soon Spotify will be on there. I'm working Woo-hoo. on that. I don't know if that actually helps anyone listen to this, but it can't. It can't hurt. It can't hurt. Is Google Music fixed yet? That's not my problem. <laughs> there's Sorry, no, Dave. There's, <laughs> there's nothing I can do about that. I want, should I, I want to should, when I post up the audio? Should I post it on SoundCloud or Spotify? Mm. No, whatever. Let's take final words. So I started playing something from back in the day. Um, I was Kingdom Human Hearts Man. Three. We know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Dragon Quest. But I did I purposely <laughs> didn't talk about this because I wanted to bring it up here. Um back on the PSP, there was a game. Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. Yes. It was a prequel to Final Fantasy VII. Um it had a very interesting action based uh combat system. It was excellent. It was very good. And I you know recently I was like, you know what I want like let me I don't know. I, I, I saw a video on something and someone mentioned it. I'm like, I forgot about that game. I started playing it a little bit. So again. Wait, well, hold on. How? Emulator. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know there was Actually, a PSP, to be honest with you. On my phone. Oh. And it works amazing. Hmm. Um, I yes. know that. <laughs> with my uh, with my 8-bit do, uh, Man, do uh, uh, controller. I really it looks, it, oh my God, it works amazing. Damn. Anyways. Because, um, oh, dude, and it's amazing because I got resolution. Like, I put it at four times resolution and two times the upscale. It looks gorgeous really? on my phone. God. Yeah, it's like it takes it like a blurry, jaggedy picture. It makes all the character models super clean. It's awesome. We'll talk later. Yes, <laughs> um, but um, but what I don't understand is like how is Square not figure out like how have they not re released this in some way for more people to buy this game? Because like even even if you own a PSP, like physical is the only way to get it. It's not available digital. Right. Like they didn't I need it either. Like digital no. store. Like well, because but the thing is, like on Vita, you could buy oh, yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. PSP games yeah, yeah. like digitally. But like Kingdom Hearts: Birth by Sleep, Crisis Core, you can't buy those digitally. Like they even play on your Vita, because like uh, I because I bought like Final Fantasy IV on the PSP version of Final Fantasy IV is excellent, and I bought that when I had my Vita, and I played the shit out of that on my Vita. Um, but like you can't get that digitally; you can only get it physical. So which means you have to own a PSP in order to play it. And this game is so great; like you can make so much money. Just like, cause like now that I now that I've seen Birth by Sleep, like it's on, cause it's on the it's on the Kingdom Hearts collection. Yeah. So like they remaster that. Like you could totally remaster this game and throw it out there, charge thirty bucks for it. People will buy the hell out of this game on PS4. Well, that's one of those things that you know people are doing the video game um, uh, historians, right? Mm-hmm. Like they're one, they're always talking about like some games are just kind of lost in the ether right. because they don't they don't have anything that they can play them on. Like, there's right. hundreds of mobile games that no one will oh, ever see again. Right. I mean, this is a little bit different than that. But, like, yeah, I mean, it's... it's it's Like, they're saying that, like, if you want to play these games, just download the ROMs because no one else is trying. Like, this right. is the exact thing right. you're talking exactly. about. I'll say, yeah, like, what you're describing is the exact, like, the justification for right. ROMs and emulators. I, I agree 100%. I mean, and that's, and that's just like, you know, so one like... Of, one of the only justifications for it, really, but... Well, right. le- legal justifications. Yeah. I mean, because yeah, I've been thinking about, it, like, like some of those, like, Super Nintendo games. Like, especially like, for me. Like, you know, I love my RPGs. Right. RPGs on the Super Nintendo... If I want to get a Super... First of all, I want to get a Super Nintendo cheap. Not a problem. I've got a retro system that plays uh, NES games anyways. But, like... If I want one of those car- cartridges, I'm paying almost a hundred bucks for like one of those games, like yep. if, if or more, or I'm not able to find it at all. Any With game. a battery like, that doesn't work, so it means you can't have a save game. Money. So like, it's fine. It's you like, open it up, you replace the battery. Yeah, but, yeah, hundred dollars. <laughs> but like, but what, like, you, you don't just throw away hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> but like, spending. But like, PSPs on eBay are still expensive. They're close oh, yeah. to hundred bucks. Oh yeah, so everyone like, wants to mod them and yeah, shit. Yeah. So paying a hundred dollars for like a PSP and then Crisis Core get to get like a 
like even just a disc only copy, I think it's like fifteen bucks, mm-hmm. which is pretty expensive for an old older like PSP game. So like, you look at like almost one hundred twenty bucks basically to play just one game. That's like monstrous. that's crazy. But like this is like a type of game where it's like okay, Final Fantasy VII remake clearly is like. We're not near that yet. Like, we're probably at, at the earliest next year on that. Earliest, 2020. Yeah, you're mine. So, <laughs> that's why I said earliest. Um, but, like... He's but being like, optimistic. Yeah, <laughs> very I, optimistic. I am, I am. <laughs> but, like, but like, why wouldn't you, like, come out with a remaster of Crisis Core for, like, 30 bucks? And, like, people would buy the hell out of what this was, to keep people... Well, you had, was that only available on PSP? Yes. yes. So, I'm wondering if part of it is they don't see the demand because it was purchased in a limited capacity on a handheld system but birth by, years Kingdom ago. Hearts, birth by Birth by Sleep was only PSP. And then they added it to the all these... Re, and they actually, that was one of the games that they but, actually put... The, like, instead of just the cutscenes, they, they remastered the whole game. But, like, was, but Kingdom Hearts has a continuous storyline, right? It does. Final yeah. Fantasy doesn't sure, really, sure. so... What, what was that Final Fantasy game you had me play? That Type Zero? Oh, it Type was. Zero? Yeah. What, what, ver- yeah. what system was that on? That was on well, originally that was on PSP. And then they did an H. They well PSP Japan only. Okay. And then they and then when they brought it to the states, they they nope. put the HD version and put it for PS4. So they have Xbox. a history of doing that. Okay. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they they they've done this plenty of times with PSP games and brought them over. That's so weird. it's like, like, and I, I know this is kind of like out of the blue too, but like it's one of those like as I'm playing <laughs> the it, segment like, is that's, yeah, that's, that's the idea. But like as I'm playing it, I'm just like, God, how awesome would this be on PS4? And I can get trophies for it and like. And it can look like, you know, like I don't have to mess with like my graphics mod yeah, settings, right. like, you know, gra- like right. emulator settings. I can just have an HD version of this. <laughs> like, and like, if you play Birth by Sleep on the, on the, on the, um, like you could tell it's an older game, but you cannot, like, if you compare it to like the PS2 games, it looks just as good. <laughs> like on that H, and the yeah, HD right, right, right. remastered collection. Like, it looks just as good as Kingdom Hearts 2. Like, it does. It, I mean, some of the textures are eh. But, like, for the most part, like, it looks great. So, like, it's very well possible. And Square could just, like, it's like, it's like, the, it's like the whole Nintendo joke. Clearly, they hate money. <laughs> like, <laughs> Square just hates money then. <laughs> yeah, like you said, like, I, I don't think a lot of people even know that game exists. I mean, I'm like, thinking, the hardcore Final Fantasy VII people obviously do. Well, yeah. And, like, the Sony people. But, like, if you... That's the thing. If you come out with it nowadays, too, I think more and more people would be like, well, wait, what's this? Right, like, 100%. Like, uh, like, this was on PSP? We missed this. Like, you're going to get not only the people who bought it on PSP to be, or begin with, you're going to get a whole new audience. I feel like they came out, like, 15 years ago, right? So, it came like, out a while ago. It was quite a while. Yeah, I, I, I bet the mind... Sh- I, I, bet, I bet you're right. But it kind of gives it, like... Giving it this back, giving it another, you know, give another time in the sun, like yeah. giving another time to come back out. Yep. So I, yeah, I think that's, that's a very it's, good point. Because it's cool. Because like, like, re- like super early in the game too, you run into Yuffie. Right. Like it's like you run into the characters from the, from Final Fantasy. VII. Like it's a really good game. Like the combat system is different, but it's actually not, it's actually really well done. It's almost like a slot machines, right? Kind of well, a thing. The, so the combat, like you have like, um, it's kind of actually a little bit more like Kingdom Hearts. Oh. Actually, it's like, it was. I think yeah, it was actually more like Kingdom Hearts. But yes, there is like a slot machine thing going on at the same time. And then every once in a while, though, if it, if two of them match up, and it's like, hey, modular phase. And then if you can, oh, if you yeah, get three yeah, in yeah. a row, then you pull off a per, then you pull off a special move right. and stuff. Like, God. but it, which is super random. But it it's 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 great. It it's actually I'm really enjoying it again. I'm like, oh, I forgot how good this <laughs> game is again. But I was thinking. Remaster trophies. This would be incredible. Charge me thirty bucks. I'll pay you thirty bucks for this. Like even though I could get it for fifteen, a P- but then I gotta buy a PSP. Yeah, no, 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 no. Thirty bucks. I will buy this for trophies and everything. That's. A, I think that's a conversation for later. Talking about like there are. There's a lot of games that are you know, have not come back out. Like yeah. there, we've had like we've had two generations, PS3 and PS4, where a bunch of games have been remastered and re-released and things like that. And there's a ton of just absolute gems out there. That hasn't gotten a, well, gotten a second be, turn of it yet. See, that might be our next topic. I mean, I, uh, I, I could actually think, I, I, I got a couple of uh, Looking at this like, numbers here, just to completely dismiss my argument. Of, <laughs> it, was on, it was on PSP. Maybe it didn't sell that many copies. Uh, let's see. As of March 31st, 2009, it sold 3.1 million units worldwide. That's impressive for a handheld game. Like, that's really good. <laughs> and that's, yeah. I mean. I mean, a PSP only game. Yeah. A, a year after the U.S. release date. Wow. That's Dang. impressive. Granted, it came out six months earlier in Japan. Yeah, Still, though, I mean, th- th- then that's a year and a, a year and a half worth of sales is three million on a handheld. That's pretty impressive. Right? Like, like you're especially. I mean, back then, 
console sales numbers in general weren't as high as they are well, now. Yeah, and, right. and the attach rate on PSPs were terrible because yes. people bought them just, just to, to emulate bottom. them. Just yeah. to bottom. Yeah. So, like, yeah. that's that's a pretty decent, like, ratio yeah. of PSP. Like, I, I think people playing the actual <laughs> Legit PSP. Legit PSPs. Right. Yeah. To... yeah. No, that's pretty impressive. All so. Right. Well, we got topic for next time. So let's throw, yeah. throw my theory out the window there. It didn't, it didn't sell well. All right. We will talk about that next time. Yes. See you, stickheads.